Uh, last time you started off in the Atari graveyard and you had were fighting a Scalithrax, a crabby spider, nasty under, you know, uh, dark lands thing. Uh, and you uh, defeated it. Uh, and as the townspeople filed up into the graveyard and saw their loved ones slaughtered and brutalized by you guys, um, they uh, spent some time getting the town back together. And then uh, the mayor met with you. He was a little incredulous when he meant when you a little mentioned bit of a dick. Well, you you guys went to the place where the bad stuff stuff came from, and we took care of the bad stuff. Did you now? Oh oh yeah. oh! We're in the process of taking the care of that other bad. Stuff. <laughs> Sorry. So the mayor was a little incredulous, uh, but uh, said that he was going to send one other hero up uh, to to look into things, uh, and you guys went back up to the um, Gauntlet Ruins and worked your way down into the level underneath where the Mitflits were. You encountered a group of Morlocks, a group of Morlock scavengers. Again, like I'm adding all the creatures to the bestiary if you want to, if you ever want to like, uh, you know, take a peek. I'm putting all the... Wait, why is it not showing over here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I am adding all the creatures to the bestiary, so you can take a peek at that. Uh, anyway, you guys had kind of found a secret door that you're fairly convinced ha has not been utilized in a very, very long time. Um, and you managed to kind of Pull yourself up in this space um, it, it, where there was a long wooden table in the center of the room surrounded by several wooden chairs. Uh, I thought we did out in the hall. I don't remember this room. Nope. You guys had come into this room right at the end. Wow. Yep. I blacked out at the end of last session. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every session, baby. Every session. <laughs> You're <laughs> muted, sweetheart. It's a... Uh... This is where they had their board meetings, remember? It was like a boardroom, yeah. Yeah, there was there was yeah. Like a, and we were, like we were napping poly... in the boardroom. Is there like a polycom thing on the table? Uh, <laughs> yes. That's how old it is. Um, uh, anyway, Red. Red. Um, uh, the, the chair to the north is the only one that looks comfortable. All the other chairs uh, do not appear to have been created for comfort. Um. So, uh, do you guys have any questions? So as soon as the door opened, Trick ran to the comfy chair and sat down. Okay. That tracks. Other than that, no. No questions. Does it spin? Wrong. I'm going to guess it probably doesn't spin. No, probably these are not spinny window. chairs. <laughs> I'm going to start searching the room. I'm going on, over and under the table, like, looking for, like, Anything, rem any remnants of things on the table? Is there anything on the floor under the table? Is it just dust and debris? Why don't you give me a blind perception check? My soul blind says the game is paused. Yeah. yeah. Paused? That's just so we don't go running. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to stay where you I are. pause the game so that when I come back in here, you don't dash off uh, 200 yards and... Uh, I'm really good at doing that. Now, I'm also <laughs> uh, well-trained in society and culture and... Okay old societal groups cults like i, I love yeah. that stuff uh you do not detect anything you do not find anything uh this room is very spartan uh it does appear to just be a meeting room there are no drawers in the tables that you can find that's a white it has it's all locked off from the world though no evident, no right, nothing on the wall, no drawings or anything. It's a true board. Uh, no, nothing. It is. It is just a straight up meeting room. I'm gonna roll two because my feet I picked gives me a bonus to seeking. Okay. Ooh. 
so but different. I look over at our froggy friend and I notice that uh Kupiri is a little injured still. Did are we aware of that? Yeah, Kupiri has injuries and has no memory of how how, how we got <laughs> um, Man, we'll get there. Yeah. You do not find anything either. Okay. Okay, Kapiri, hang on. Do I give him a heal or do you have something to drink? Or you could do he... you could you could do your your um heal uh treat wounds. Yeah, I can do treat wounds. I will, I will treat your wounds, dude. Hold up. Thank you. Target you. Uh, You're welcome. Why are you why is this happening? Why are you like this? I don't I don't know. <laughs> why are you like this? I don't get it. What? Um okay. Uh, I'm going to sit in the corner and start refocusing with Scoot. Okay. While everybody is monkeying around the room. Assuming we'll be here 10 minutes. But I have a healing plaster. Why is it telling me I don't have a healing plaster? Because I have one. Um. Yeah. You should have a healer's kit anyway, right? Yeah. I have the healing plaster, so why can't I use treat wounds? What's wrong with this thing? Oh, well, if you're going to do that, you just click on the healing plaster. If you're going to do treat wounds, it uses your, it uses your, um. Yeah, I clicked on treat wounds. Okay, let me try it. I'm going to target Fury. Mm -hmm. I'm going to okay. use your skill. You can't treat wounds without okay. healer's tools or a healing plaster. And I had healer's tools. I've been able to do this. What is going on? I'm able to do it. There you go. Success by two. I rolled for you. Okay. You well, did it. Yay, <laughs> me. Um, I still want to know what's going on, but we okay. can move on. We can move on. So what I did was I, uh, when I moused over your character, I, I then went to skills over on the right at the bottom, second from the right. Mm -hmm. I clicked on it, and then I selected treat wounds from the list there. Uh, did you use basic actions? I used basic actions. Let me try that. Because that's how I go. I go to my basic action macros. That's how I do it. I, d I don't know your fancy way. I have my click and click again way. Okay. Hold on just one second. <laughs> Clickety click pants. Ooh. Just wanted to take a moment to say uh, happy Yule to all you. Uh, oh my God, you're quiet okay. again. Happy yeah, Yule. how'd you get quiet again? Hold on. Sorry, I was trying to turn it down so that you couldn't hear the background noise. Is that a little better? Yes, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, okay. Okay, I apologize. That was on me. <laughs> happy uh, Yule, motherfuckers. <laughs> Longest day the night of the year. It'll, <laughs> it can only get better, right? Right. The longest night of the year. No, nights. I like, I eight, like night. Man. This is great. Night, night, yeah. Night's fine. I, I'm just. Hey, we the need to night it up. That are, on, night it up. Uh, okay. Happy so. uh, Happy 25th anniversary of Baldur's Gate One, everybody. That's <gasps> hey, all right. Oh, that was the best. <laughs> Twenty-five years. Okay. Alex. So fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are you guys gonna do? If you remember, there's a walkway off to the right that goes to the room where you came down. Well, he we said we were gonna go room by room, right? And yeah, uh, there's a lot of space out. Have we been here 10 minutes? Have I refocused? For yes. I'm going to let everybody refocus. And then um, also we'll go ahead and get rid of Kupiri's okay. treat wounds immunity since hers goes away after 10 minutes. Uh, Yay. Do you guys remember? Right. Do you guys remember the spaces around you? Yes, ish. You guys had so so coming down out the south here, that little north passageway is how you came into this area and where you yep. fought. This is where you fought yep. the yep. uh Morlocks. Sure, it's a long spooky yes. hallway that's clean halfway down it. Yes. Yeah. We were going to clean the I still see some cells. dead things. Yes, there are still corpses. These are Yay. barracks. Uh, or little living quarters, Spartan living quarters. More we haven't checked, and then more doors. Right. So. Yes. Yeah, we we're checked all these up rooms. Here, ready to check these rooms. Yes, we did check those rooms. Yeah, I, I, I say we go to the left here. Okay. That's how Ron brilliant. kicks That's open the door. Like okay, <laughs> the door is kicked open. Oh, there's a dead thing. While it's apparent that this Sword large room shield. 
was originally a kitchen. The furnishings have been rebuilt and repositioned to create an improvised shrine. The western end of the hall, where a large fireplace for cooking food once stood, now serves as an altar of sorts. Looming over a human corpse is a towering statue in a feminine shape made of bones, covered in sheets of moldering cloth and hanging moss. A bare spot on the room's north wall has been decorated with mud and blood to depict the same feminine form as, a statu as the statue. Just seems Sounds fine. Gross. No big deal. Yeah. This was how the, fresh uh, is the Do we recognize and... it? Do we yeah. know who the, who this is? Um, are we free to move in here? I have so put a in? I've put a role in the chat. Oh, oh Ooh, I can do that one. I rolling. Guys, this is a uh, corm. A uh, bronze. Do you have a hero point? No. Well, I do, but I'm not wasting it on a fucking religion check. Well, I know, but I was going to say, because if you don't, you get another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Calliope, you, um, you surmise that the divinity that is being worshipped here isn't a goddess, but that the bloody scrawl on the wall is likely meant to illustrate somewhat of importance to the cult. And you recognize it as the same figure you saw upstairs on one of the portraits. You this, guys, what he just said. Yeah, is, is this the figure that was cut out of the portrait? Is this the assistant or whatever? No, I'll show you the picture. Give me half a second. I have to go to another map. Is this who Mr. Beak worshipped? Uh, there you go. Oh, oh yeah, but where did we yes. see, have to remind me where what character knowledge I would have? Where did we see that portrait again? Uh, you saw this portrait in the hallway to Mr. Beak. Yeah, then the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But then, I there think was, she's had some work done. Those are not natural eyebrows. They are, they are not. Um, and uh, None the plaque nice. under it said the Lady of the Light. Yes, and she was in another portrait where so, another figure had been torn out, or, or no? No, there was, another another, place there was another. There was another. Something had been scratched away. Yes, there was another portrait that had been scratched away in there. The she Lady of the Light. Very light, like. She looks so what's this body? I, I put Scoot down to go uh, crawl over to the body on the floor. Okay, Scootle. it's a human. Um. Scoot's going to go through it, its pockets the best the centipede can. It is a human male, and you notice that he has a tattoo of a bird on his right shoulder. Oh, What does that mean? Is it Mr. Beak? No. <laughs> you guys this, remember that these are the marks. This is one of the guys we were... <laughs> this is one of the right. members of the Thieves oh. Guild. Oh, well. Oh, oh, we found one. So yeah, yeah, let's, uh, is there anything that we can see on him at, that we can provide as proof that we found this individual? Um, I'll go ahead. Um, you guys find. I take it. We do not have something called a cell phone that we can take pictures with. Or so I take out a vial from my backpack. A potion of shared memories, and I'm gonna oh. take the scene of the room in, room in, and stare into the vial, and kind of imprint this entire scene in this drinkable water that I can give to somebody later to be here. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's impressive. Well, Is that I a new these thing? In the cauldron. Yeah. Well, I brewed them in the cauldron. I haven't had a chance to use, use okay. them since I did my brewing like a couple times ago. So I have to focus in the vial for a minute. I kind of wave it around. I look at the uh, uh, scene. Uh, I imprint like a memory, a minute long, remin shimmering reminiscence of the stored memory into it and give it a slightly sweet taste. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I dip Scoot in it very briefly, recall him back from the body. So I want to store that for later. Okay. We've lost so wait, much wait, with did, digital photography. Did, did, <laughs> did you just dip your centipede into the soup? No. It's, it's, there's a slightly ochre color swimming around the vial now, but... 
I put Scoot da- still damp back in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> so there, there are three things uh, s- strewn about at the base of the thing. There is a, a gem, um, a, a potency rune, and a sickly, green, another sickly green gem. The gem's mine. I want the gem. There's two. There's a. There's a blood. I, I, I want the non-sickly <coughs> one. Okay. Oh. So we we just know it. what the shit is, like because we see the description, and everything, and yeah, I know. I, I I need to figure out a way to kind of obfuscate that stuff. I don't know how. Obfuscate. That's a so. Here you go. I've given the 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 non sickly green gem to Calliope. It's my present. <laughs> I'll make a necklace. Does anyone else want to loot the other things? Yeah. Bron is stealing it all. Okay. That's I was gonna Bron say Bron is such a Bron thing. Bron does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that there tracks. You go. I'm gonna I get got it. To get rid of that. Look, at least when I steal all this shit, I then later on go, "Hey guys, by the way, I stole all this shit when you weren't paying attention. <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're, you're very honest about it. Unless it's the fancy uh, art, because that's my fucking fancy art, Zim Zim. <laughs> 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 yeah, laugh, laugh okay. Now. So, what else are you guys doing? Now? Um, are we detecting What's magic it? on the room or anything? Yeah, I'm. I'm assuming I'm walking around with that up all the time and ignoring the party's known magic. Is there anything else radiate? Is the room radiating? I can no. Reach the whole room. What's on, what about the mural on the north wall? <laughs> um, it, it's dry. Is anything behind it? I kind of pick it up. Here, I get. Uh, I put a chat. A, check in the thing oh look my name is shrine offering what i don't see the thing in the check oh uh i don't know why i don't either nothing in chat work there we go yeah i am now the gemstone studded i'm gonna roll too i'm gonna roll i like perception rolling Okay. Oh, well, I did a blind I, one. Yeah, I meant to do it. I did not mm. fail. Maybe. Okay. Um, Kupiri and um, and Trick, you guys notice um that there is a a secret door in the in the north wall, like behind the mural. Yeah. Bloody. Come on. Figure out how to do this. Gary Pants mural. Where is, is it? How, so it's it's a mural. It's painted on the stone, or is it like on like a flat? It's of skin painted just... on the stone. Oh, okay. Uh, beep. Guys, let me know if the reverb is bad, and I'll mute me while he's talking and stuff. Where's Trick? Right here. Oh, I don't see you in there. There you are. Okay. Okay. Um. Hey guys, there's a secret door here. <laughs> secret doors! I, I love, love secret, secret doors. doors! These people and their secret <laughs> doors. They're my favorite. Mm-hmm. Because they're secret. Okay. What are you guys is doing? It, is it is it is it it's a stone edifice sort of? Yes. Uh so you... listening at it isn't gonna do a whole lot. Well, um, you might be able to hear something. Alright, I'll listen at the door. Smart. At the secret door. Uh, where I have to change it to blind every time. Okay, you don't hear anything? Sweet, I don't hear anything. Good. Uh, good. Nobody's here. This place is, like, deserted. It's fine. <laughs> Except for those guys we just uh, Hang on. <laughs> he, says, <laughs> he says while standing next to the human corpse. <laughs> is that, like, can we, is he, I take it back. Is there any evidence how this person died? I want to flip him over and... Like what happened? Well, how did all that Ooh, blood come out? Um, how long ago did he die? You'll need can to we... do some kind of medical. Can we get liver temp? Skill check. Hey, come here, uh, Calliope. I yeah, okay, down I'm gonna that. come over. Hi, hi. I'm gonna check on the liver temp of this dude. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll try. What do I roll? I know some kind of a medicine that. skill check. Uh, is that I'll check in too. my thing? Here, I'll um, I'll try to aid you in your examination. Uh, I don't know what I need to roll. Uh, okay. There's how that works, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just doing a, a raw. No, no. Just do a raw recall knowledge, and it should be fine. 
Oh. There you go. Yeah. Uh, raw. Okay, I can do that. Uh, okay, you have Kapiri selected. You need to unselect him. When you... Oh man, Kapiri, I totally have you selected. I have. Unselected. Recall knowledge on Kapiri. Kapiri is a gentle frog. <laughs> 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 Um, okay. okay. What I've it, this person appears to have died in combat. How long ago? Like, what? What is it? Got a? What's the wound, though? Um, th you're not able to differentiate what. There's wound. blood everywhere. It's like he just like stroked out like with great. Well, a lot pressure. of the the a lot of this blood is not fresh. Mm. A lot of this blood is from previous things that have been put at the foot of this of this altar. These are some sick people or things. Um, um this guy so appears to have been dead for about three days. Oh, he must stink. Ooh. But I mean, okay, he, that's all he, I needed to know. And that is, that is a, a near when you believe they came up. here. Okay. Okay. I'm done being near this body. And then moving along. And it stinks. Now. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna no, open the I'm secret done. door. That's gross. Okay. I open, open the secret. Open the secret door. It's a, door. I can't. Uh, uh, is it locked? Shield and he's ready to go. Here we go. Yeah. Boop. There you go. Now you can Getting open it. Behind you, people. Okay. The five foot. There's a five foot wide hallway featuring three alcoves along each side. Stone sarcophagus. Stone sarcophagi stand upright within each. This is the weirdest place. Uh, should we check for traps? This seems like a trap type area. I, sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. You, I'm, uh, I'm not the trap that? checker. I, I tell you what, I, here's what I'm going to do. I have, I have a, no, I'm not going to waste a spell slot on that. Never what mind. is that? A perception check? Mm -hmm. you... I'm going to seek. I'm trying to figure out. Uh... Actually, can I just? I'm just going to take my. I'll do that first. Y'all do your thing. Um, you guys do not detect anything. I take my little pink ball out and roll it down the hallway. Okay. The little pink ball rolls down the hallway. Okay, well. It's safe. Step forward. <laughs> okay. Bronze stepping forward. Trick and Kupiri are sharing a space for some reason. That's that's weird. Well, that, I can't that's what they do. See anything down those hallways. Am I supposed We're to We're hugging. Be they're 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 dead ends with sarcophaguses in them. Oh, okay. Like it's just weird. Okay. Like it's uh just, stop, Bron, take one step backwards. Time to initiate combat. Oh, oh yeah. uh, hold on, just one moment, everybody. Um, start your engines and roll your bean footage. Yeah, your beautiful bean footage. Go, go away, die. Okay. No. I'm just rolling a d20. There you go. I did it blind. Well, no, you you gotta you get, click on your little picture up top, and it'll and it'll roll oh, initiative for you. I never see my little pink thing. Oh, because I'm doing blind jam <laughs> rolls. Yes. Okay. Private jam rolls. Yes. Nice. Okay. So I'm beginning uh, the encounter. Ooh, you've changed the music. Actually, music didn't change for me. It just it just was nope. the it was the oh. we have begun a combat music. Um, I'm, I'm gonna still, I'm, still here in the, I'm gonna here. go ahead and um since you, since I initiated combat, I'm gonna go ahead and have the thing just do the attack and have it be at the end of the previous round, uh, rather than have you guys assume there's a combat with nothing going. on. There's yeah. It's weird. I don't see anything. Uh, I'm still in this back room. And I'm like, sure, we'll be go, in Go, let's do this. Actually, wait. So 
was everybody excited about Yule? Um, no. Nah. Eh. Are are the um the wandering children home? Um. For Yule. No, no. One of them. One of them wanders in tomorrow, which is a terrible day to fly. But. Ew. Okay. One is home, and then uh, our New Yorker comes in tomorrow. Gotcha. But LaGuardia through Atlanta, so it's going to be an ordeal. Oh, she, she's flying in a zoo. Yeah. Ah, oh, to be 20 something again. Uh, I'm not okay. worry about that. <laughs> um, Kupiri, you feel a dark presence reach out of the sarcophagus to your left and swipe at you um, intangibly. Oh, well, that's the best way to be swiped at. And uh, you are critically hit. Of course. Oh, no. Y'all are going to make me work. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not going to survive this. <laughs> you all have anything to do. <laughs> You take 20 points of damage. Yeah. Holy work. fuck. Shadow <laughs> hand. Um, at this point in time, um, Major Domo. What? you, um, are enfeebled. And you feel something tugging at your essence. Ew. Gross. Uh, oh, well, I'm into that, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't judging. I'm just saying. And then... Um, and then a second tendril comes out of the sarcophagus at Brond. I, I have to wait till my turn to cast up, right? Yes. And it yeah. hits. No, it doesn't. And, Bron, do you take 10 points of dim? Do you want to apply it or do you want me to? Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and do this. Is it visible to you guys? No. Okay. I feel that my Disrupt Undead cantrips is going to be utilized a lot. So we should get out. Get out. I can't tell whether it's visible or invisible. It's like... Uh, oh, I we're... can see it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. There you go. Uh, and <laughs> now it is uh, Kupiri's turn. Okay, well... Um... <clears throat> Frogs have a saying, and it is attack the incorporeal thing with a gun. <laughs> so, <laughs> brilliant frog saying. So I'm going to uh, just shoot, shoot like out of reflex more than anything else. Okay. Oh wait. Nice. Yes. Put it on repeat. Bum, bum, bum. No, not that one. And Temple Are of Bones. Yeah, I know. I had one called Temple of Bones, and now I can't find it. I was picking the music. Um. Okay. So you critically hit. It's very nice of the frog. Um. Yeah. Yeah, not great. Okay. You have wounded the spiritual I thing that is reaching out to you from the crypt. It only took oh, four damage. Barely that, injured. Huh? Yeah. And then I will follow that up with a reloading strike. Okay, you hit. You hit and again. then I will step over here. 
Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, moving on. Braun. Braun is doing his nails. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and power attack from where I am. Okay. Uh, did that... That did not send it. There we go. There we go. Power of attack, clever foe. Oh, let me turn that on. Power attack. Sorry. You hit. Oh, did it not? Oh, I'm sorry. For some reason, it turned off my power attack when I okay. uh, or turned off my target when I clicked on power attack. My bad. Okay. What is? Okay. Hold on, just a second. Oh yeah, snow claims was not on. So yeah. Okay. Sixteen points damage. There you go. Okay. Oh, okay. Still to dr though. That was two. I'm going to go ahead and raise my shield. Um, and that's it for me. Okay. Trick. Okay. Do I see anything coming out of either of these? You mostly just see them flinching. Uh -huh. But you do not see anything in the sarcophagus next to you, though. I mean, I rolled a ball past it. It's fine. You're fine. <laughs> I, like, see the edge of it. Can I shoot it with a bow? You can try. Sure. I'd say it has okay. partial cover. Okay. So, drawing my bow. How do I add partial? And... I don't know. You may just put it as a circumstance bonus on the roll. We'll just, if, once you do the roll, we'll see if it includes it. I don't nice. think cover is going to help there. So let's just, we'll just go ahead and, and say that hits. You do no damage. no damage. Oh, God. Piercing. I think your, your bow turned off the music. It did. Mm -hmm. Music on guard. Oh, oh, That's an action. That's right. Why? Everybody take damage. I accidentally damaged myself for <laughs> somehow. That's fine. It has to in my life. Uh, did you take off that damage? I did. Okay. What are you doing for your second and third action? That was it. Oh, okay. Move, draw, shoot. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is now uh, Zanzibar's turn. I need Scoot. Okay. Need, because there, he has stuff. Okay. Hold now. on just one second. Let me pull Scoot out here. Burp, 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 burp. There he is. Okay. So I have to make sure this works. Uh, so Scoot, for, for unexplained reasons, suddenly, <laughs> now and forevermore, Scoot has a strange marking on the back of his body that, depending on who it looks at, either grants some good or bad luck. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of a mystical little thing. So when he's within 15 feet of um, somebody okay. and I do a hex, I can grant a AC bonus uh, through Scoot. Okay. So that mechanically, that's what's going on. So uh, not to overdo mechanics. So Scoot also is independent now with the new rule. So he can he moves like a pet and he gets one action without me commanding him because he's independent. Okay. So when I leave Scoot on his own, um, 
it's in your discretion whether Scoot is. I'm gonna doing heal what Scoot all the way up. By the yeah. way, oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Scoot. Should be so I'm gonna indicate, like, direct him to do what he's gonna do. But if I don't spend an action to command him, technically you have GM fiat about what Scoot's actual behavior is. Okay. So I'm hoping Scoot is going to run down to, to uh, in between Brond, or near Brond, run down the hallway okay. with, with his free, uncommanded action. Okay, I think oh, Scoot boy. scurries along <laughs> the hallway and climbs up onto the wall here. Okay, beautiful. By Brond, uh, and kind of peers around at the Major Domo. Great, great. So now I need me. So just bear with me while I get everything's changed. So uh, then I'm going to do a nudge fate. Uh, sorry, stand by. On Kapiri. Okay. Uh, no, no, stop. Okay, so I, I chant. I give Nudge Fate to Kapiri. Uh, and then, by virtue of being within 15 feet of Scoot, I yes. 10, 15, Kapiri should also get a plus one AC. Okay. So let me see if I can figure out how to apply that, if you don't mind. Uh, familiar of balance luck. It's just a status bonus. So I don't know if I can click apply it, so uh, okay. we'll have to just. If remember it. Uh, I don't know how to even nudge. Fate. What is it called again? What's the status effect called? Uh, the it's a uh, familiar of balanced luck, plus one status bonus to AC. Hey, until uh, the start of my next turn. So you can give a generic status bonus, um, or if they have familiar of balanced luck in the compendium you could add that but see if i can balance luck. familiar of balance luck i don't see a thing that I can pull onto him, so we just need to know that here he yeah. has a plus one um, yep. AC until the start of your next turn. And the Dutch fate may have gone on him normally, but okay. I'll, 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 I mean, I'll make my own. I'll keep track as well. Help. Okay. With that. I don't have best that. Okay. So uh, I said, Scoot went down the hallway as a free action. I cast a cantrip as a single action. To be I two also, actions. So I know he. Uh, one action for the cantrip. Really? So yeah, cantrips are one. No, cantrips are two. No, not all cantrips. No, no, are hex one. can hex cantrips are a single action. I'll double. Oh, that. okay. Yes, yes I see. Yeah. Nudge fate is one action. Yep. Correct. And then I will also cast spiritual weapon and summon forth a centipede's mandible, it's, uh, kind of a shimmering, bludgeoning weapon. Okay. That looks like a piece of scoot. Okay. Um, that cast, uh, as soon as I cast that, it appears next to a foe I choose within range, so I, I make it appear, it doesn't take up space, so okay. it's basically going to appear right next to Kapiri. Okay. And kind of shimmer into existence uh, and strikes. Okay. So I don't have a way to target this thing. Uh move up temporarily i guess to see it or let me see your let me see if that's spelled spiritual weapon okay yeah it's just something that you use yeah you just click that attack button right but i can't tar i have to target so i have to either temporarily move down the hallway or you have to actually make the enemy visible for me oh the enemy should be visible um no, i'm not i don't have line of sight to it Okay. Um, I can't see. Crap I can just move my. I'm just gonna move you up here for now, yeah. and I'll move you back. Okay. This is the thing. Okay. Yeah. Target that. Uh, plus nine. Good. Oh. Oh, that's that's a miss. 
All right. Okay, I'm moving you back. Oh, that was good. That's weird looking. So the spiritual weapon has appeared on the map. Where'd you go? I'm going to move button. myself back. Oh, okay, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. And, the, and I guess the, well, the weapon appeared, I suppose, but I don't... Well, there's not a physical thing for it. Well, I saw a marker for it on the map and it went away. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see if it's Weird. underneath. It appeared like a heel. I didn't place it anywhere when I cast it. I didn't even click yeah. the cast button. Okay. Yep. Anyway. Anyway, so there you go. You don't have to sound so disappointed in me. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm just... It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm blaming the undead, but I have this cool undead spell that I can't cast because I kind of need to heal you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think I can do this within 30, right? Well, let's look. First rank on your spells. Ooh, but, ooh, but no. I have a second rank heal that I can do. Yes. I actually have two of those bad boys. I decided we needed more heal, so I gave us more heal. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, I'm going to um, do that. Heal versus living, right? Yeah. Make sure I'm targeting you. Yep. Targeting you. Heal versus living. Roll healing. Roll. Right? Yeah. There. Okay. Ooh, that's so pretty. I loved what that just did. That's amazing. It should be more than that, though. It didn't heal me at all. No, no, no. I haven't applied the healing. Oh. Um, but my quest... It was private, so we can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Um... I hit apply healing. I heal for 14 damage. No, no, no. no. You, healed. you healed yourself. No, no, no. Yeah, you just healed yourself, sweetheart. That's not that's not it. I will do the applying of the healing, okay? Okay. Um the thing is though, with a with an elevated um with a heightened heal, which you were casting this rank 2 one, right? Yep. Um the amount of healing or damage increases by 1d8, and the extra healing for the two-action version increases by 8. So it should have been 2d8 plus 16. Am I crazy? No, that sounds right. It sh am I wrong there, Brond? Um Here. I'm not sure if it would I'm gonna be... I'm going to drag this over to the chat. Yeah, let me read it real quick. I don't okay. see it in the chat. I can't see the the heightened. Oh wait, heightened the amount of healing damage, one d eight, and the extra healing for two action version increases by eight. So it should so have been two d eight plus sixteen, correct? Excuse me. No, because it's. I was muted. Sorry. Did she cast the one action version or the no, two the action, two action version? No, the two action version. So it will let the and she heightened it to level three. Uh, no. We're at level two. Level two. So it'll be one d eight plus eight for the two yeah. action version. But it's plus that's what it normally is. Uh, no, it's normally one d eight. No. And she heightened no. it. No. The heal, the two action heal, is one d eight plus eight. Yes. But no. The, the two okay. action heal is eight. No. Like what you have the on the spell screen has right a now range says, of thirty feet. If you're healing a living creature, increase the hit points restored by eight. Right. So if you're so doing it as a touch, it's one d eight. I'm not saying the same thing. I will just click the heal you put Purple in chat, summer. right? Yeah, yeah. In the first, yeah, in the first paragraph, it mentions one d eight. Yeah. But then yeah, go down to Where the you two say? action verbal. Right. The two action. That's one d eight plus eight. Yeah. Oh, I think. Um, I wonder if that's a typo and it means like you heal for eight. No, that is definitely oh, not it. Okay. You I roll. Then, then, it, two again. then I agree. It'd be D8 plus 16 is what it should be. I think we can all agree I'm at full health. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. And yeah. you've got. 
So go ahead and I'm going to click this in Wendy's thing. And then oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. it says heightened yeah. plus one. Yeah, I see what you mean. I see where ambiguity could 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 be there. What did the what did the computer do? Like what did he, what did she actually get? So we could yeah. See so it. if I click on it, it says roll two d eight plus sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It 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 just wasn't heightened properly. Yes. Gotcha. So, but oh my god, a a heightened heal at level two is two d eight plus sixteen. That's pretty crazy. That is. Yeah, that's you nice. are welcome. There you go. You are fully healed, and Calliope has one more action. Yeah, I can't do anything else, so I'm just gonna hang out here. I mean. I, there, I don't have anything else I can... Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just say, um, Demoralize the bitch. I could... Throw something? How do you do the line of sight again? I thought it was L. Oh, does it do it in the client here? Or... Are you thinking Remember we had that thing? Oh no, I'm thinking of Gloomhaven. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> thinking of the Gloomhaven that, Yeah, yeah. I didn't know anything about like Zell thing. <laughs> yeah. In in uh in Gloomhaven you can hit L and then trace to another square and see if you have line of sight. Okay, I have my throwing knives. I think I can I but I can't see anything to attack. Yeah, uh I, I'm I'm thinking that you that it has complete cover for me. Okay. I was then. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. I have nothing else I can do. Uh, everything I okay. have is pretty much two action. I would really <laughs> like to be, have four actions. I'm gonna <laughs> that. so that I can do two things each time. Okay. So the major domo starts whispering, and you hear oh. this horrible dialect. Um, it's it's something incomprehensible and horrible. Um. And uh, one tendril uh, goes out to. Oops. Uh, Kapiri, I'm gonna need you to move back, not be near the tendrils. Uh, one of the tendrils reaches out at Kupiri and hits. What is this plus fifteen nonsense? Jesus Christ! Well, at least I heal well. And I still have one more oh, of those. No. Okay. Um, more arrest. Kupiri, you, um, you feel even more weak uh, as another piece of your existence is pulled from you. It's fine, I'm sure. Rad. <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. Bron gets hit by the other tendril. And it's takes fine. eight damage. And you hear just this horrible... Watch out for you want to talk about. And uh, it is now uh, Kupiri's turn. We should just close the door, Clypey. That they're dead to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't think that doesn't cross. <laughs> Kupiri points his gun hand shakingly at the thing and then realizes that that's a dex action, so it's not affected. And then. <laughs> Attack! Okay. Oof. And miss. You miss. And then just uh, follow that up with one that is strength. So this will be awesome. Yeah, good turn. Yeah, good turn. that was another miss. Okay. Brond. All right. Bronze gonna, you know, go at it again. The, uh, hold on, C, power attack, yep, yep. C, and then... Strike. That's gonna miss. Oh, I oh. am going to... Oh. 
Reroll using hero point. Okay. You hit. Uh, there you go. Oh, I like that you took 16 oh. damage. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to... Uh, okay. Uh, I'll re do there you go. There you go. Okay, I have applied um, the damage to the major domo. So hang on one sec. I wanted to. I I, I meant to remind, and I forgot because that was Kapiri. The major domo, when it hit Kapiri, it hit by plus zero. So uh, I believe Nudge Fate saved him from that blow. Uh, I think you are correct. Right? Am I reading that right? Result hit by plus zero. Right? Yes, you are correct. Thank you. I am removing the enfeebled. And I am reversing yeah. the Kupiri oh, damage. Where is the Kupiri? It's a Yule. Wow, miracle. I feel better. <laughs> and uh, Ron raises his there you go. for the, uh, his third action. Uh, now, uh, one thing I am going to say is that if it had done that, if it had missed, it would have had a third action. Since it I mean, rolled, right. yeah. since it enfeebled um, Kupiri one more time. So I'm going to do a map attack real quick. Oh, good. And it's misses. Up. Okay. So that is cleared up. Trick, it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to make some shots. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot it. Miss. Again. That shot goes right over its shoulders and shatters on the wall behind it. And one more. This one Critical. hits the roof. Oof. <laughs> okay. It is now. Good job, team. <laughs> Zanzibar, what will you be doing? Uh, first action, I continue. Uh, commanding the little spiritual mandible and okay. I will attack with it again uh, which is going to be a little bit of an ordeal but I will um, make it work okay here we go uh, oh, I got cat I gotta move up so I can see it yeah I'm gonna grab scoot oh, real quick targeted. hold on just one second I'm moving you into the wall there Bron. okay I'm gonna move scoot on the turn as well so uh, okay so I think I'm on I think him. scoot attack. is gonna come over here to try well, to get a command. good I'm angle I'm commanding this time. Okay. For first when I get to Scoot, so I'll be moving him. Okay. Uh, but right now I'm doing the spiritual weapon attack. Okay. First action. Should that will be a hit. a hit. Yay! So I will roll force damage. Is that good? Is force damage good? Yes. Force Indeed, damage. it is good. Okay, yay. And so that was action one. Action two, I command Scoot. Okay. Which gives Scoot two actions. Okay. Oh, I see. It's letting me... Okay, sorry. Uh, let me back out. As an aside, uh, I would like to know when Zanzibar's name is Xanadu, because I have a whole song list that is going to be I, happening when that happens. Okay. Why would Zanzibar's name ever change? I don't yeah, know. I don't, Sometimes Zanzibar a... is, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it's just, it's a whim thing. That's not how RPGs work. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. The songs <laughs> make crap evident. up. Also, Z Xanadu starts with an X. <laughs> yeah, I would never. Oh, anyway. but. <laughs> it, it's um, a z. <laughs> uh, 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 so I am. Uh, Second action is commanding Scoot. So Scoot gets two actions by me doing that. So okay. I call, Scoot, I call Scoot back to me. He okay, to I'm going to move him back. There we go. So he crawls back on me. Then I'm going to lay hands on Scoot. He okay. Can now act as a vessel for my touch spells. Okay. And then for Scoot's <laughs> I'm sorry, other I didn't action, mean to laugh at that. It was it's, really funny. I, that's fine. It, it can be amusing. I don't care. Um, as long as we make eye contact while I'm doing it. And I, then I'm going to use my last action to send Scoot scurrying down the hallway laden with my hand okay uh, and crawl up the leg of kupiri how fast can scoot move 25 really well it's 20 uh, i guess it's 25 it's if i use two actions he moves 25 in action is that right or yes no? yeah then yes 
Okay. I, guess, I mean, yeah. I guess. I, okay, so He's you're going to send him over to yeah. crawl up Kupiri's yeah. leg? And then deliver the lay on hand. Kupiri is not injured. It's not damage anymore. Damn it, the whole turn was based on me not fixing that. Do you want to do Braun instead? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is Braun damaged? Yes. Then yes. Okay, then why don't you target <laughs> Braun and do a heal? Okay, uh, so here we go. Uh, I'll make sure the movement is right. This will be good either way on the movement. That way I don't have to worry about looking it up. Cast uh, healing. Okay. And I'll apply that to Brond. Brond is healed for 12 range. points of damage. That is your full turn, and it is now Calliope's turn. It is, and I'm reading the name of Xylocaine laying on hand. I don't... Yeah, I, I don't know I, who I, that is. Yeah, that, that makes no sense, because that's spelled with an X, so... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, Calliope wonders how far she needs to move so that she can get eyesight on the jerk that's attacking us. Um, I think that you could, pro if you came over here and stood in this alcove over here, oh wait. This one? that one, you could have an angle on him. Oh. He still would have partial cover. It won't let me move there. God, he's almost dead, too. It won't? Nope. There. Stick you in the corner. Okay. So, I can... Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm going to do Disrupt Undead. Okay. Because I believe this is an undead creature, correct? You aren't sure. Would you like to do some recall knowledge? I would love to do that. I love recall knowledge. <laughs> Here, I'll put it in chat. Or just do, yeah, just do a bit. No, you got, you've got Kapiri targeted again. You, you need to do. Oh my God, yeah. Kapiri, I love you way too much. You'll have um, to find okay. out so much about uh, me. Okay, <laughs> hold on. And I don't want private. I just want. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, recall knowledge. There. Okay, you are not sure if this is undead or not. Great. Surely. Hanging out in a sarcophagus. Then that may not be what I want to attack it with, <laughs> so I will use another spell. Uh, Ray of Frost for the win! You... Hit! Hit! Hold on, hold that, on. That's the answer you have for me, is hit. Hold on. Gonna play the wife card. I hit. <laughs> okay, that hits. Well, well, you didn't have it targeted. You didn't. You didn't. Do the... Oh well. Okay, I can't even see him. I. He's not here. Okay. We'll roll your damage. You're gonna let me have this. Yes, that's I am. How that's gonna go? Thank you. I appreciate you. So I'm rolling damage now. Okay. It's not much. It's not much. There you go. Okay, I I am now done with my turn. Yeah, okay. I got to attack. Um, Major Domo um attacks Kupiri again. Oops. Uh, oh. And misses, and then with his other tendril, he reaches out and attacks Brond, which will also miss. Oh, like that shield, the shield. The shield is what did the shield it. Did it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and then does a third attack against Kupiri. And Ooh. hits. Lucky, man. So Kupiri takes 10 points of damage. Okay. And now... It is the next round. 
And it is Kupiri's turn. All right. Kupiri shoots. Do I still have him targeted? Yes. Okay. That's a hit. Nice. I think I'll do it. That is bullshit DR. God Ooh, err. Your attack appears to have done nothing to the Major Domo. And swipe him with my sword. Uh, this might actually matter. He is off balance for this attack. Okay. So, do you want me to add that? I'll just we'll just look at it or... and 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 subtract okay. two from his AC. That is going to hit. Nice. should be uh, hopeful. Major Domo is still up and about. Oh, yes. Ron, what would you like to do to the I Major have a third Domo? Action tank oh, I thought I thought that was all three of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> burp, 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 burp. There you go. It's back I to you. Attack real quick with the map minus eight. Nope. Okay, I'm done. Okay. And it is now Bron's turn. All right. Bond is going to power attack once more. That's going to hit. Oh. oh, good. Man. That's the day. And the major domo is no more. Wow. The Bond swings one last time. The vapor surrounding the Major Domo kind of dissipates and Major Domo falls into the shadows and disappears. I keep sustaining my little weapon for... I can do it for a minute. Okay. Anything happening in these other, other sarcophagi? You do not <laughs> see anything going on. As a matter closed. of fact, I'm ending the encounter. So of the two that I can barely see now, are they cl are they closed sarcophagi? Um, they're not like open or. Give anything. me some kind of a perception check. Uh, I'll just do perception for a kind of perception check. You are convinced that there are more major domos in every single one of these sarcophagi. I wonder what made that one come out. Let's, um, Is there anything on the floor that looks like we tripped a wire or did anything that... You do not see anything. I need my, Does this I'm one gonna... look like it was cracked open or something? Slightly ajar? Do you want to do a perception check? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, you do not, um, do not anything weird. You're, you're, um, you, you, you just are like, wow, this is weird. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to, all of us want to do noticing my wounds. Check. I'm going to mage hand my ball, ball back. Okay. I'm still down at the end of the hall, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess we want to. I mean, basically, we're past them. I mean, Kapiri's past them all. Maybe no, we should no. just There's leave another... it alone. Oh, is there another set of alcoves up there? Another set, yeah. He... I mean... want to check this. Uh, this little casket. Okay. The one I that Major Domo there. came out of. Yes, I do not want to open any of the other ones. I just want. Okay. Well, one. I'll notice. I'll note that this didn't open at all. Oh, Major Domo still, still closed. Yes, it is still closed. Mm, and Major well, Domo reached out from it. Can I I'm going to recall knowledge about what this entity was, hoping that I can get a cult utilize a cult on it. Okay. Or 
specifically like do I know do we know about what triggers them if it's something that's like a haunting like what makes it angry is it just occasionally not like frogs or like what's the okay um you do not know anything about this creature if anyone else wishes wishes to try to do a, a recall knowledge of this let me know yeah, I'll, uh, I'll lay down a little recall knowledge. I don't think I'll know much, but you never know. I will always recall knowledge. Who just did that? Not me. me. That was Johnny. Yeah, that was me. You were sele- You had selected Major Domo somehow. Oh, shit. Um, let me try again. I apologize. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, Ron, you... You think it may have been some kind of undead, but you're not sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Calliope, you also think it might have been some kind of undead, but you're you're not sure what it is. Okay. Well, there's another door down here, and I want to get the, get the hell out of this room. So. Same. Okay, you move forward ten feet. There is a door in front of you. Going to listen at the door. Okay, give me a perception check. Um, You are absolutely positive there is no sound on the other... There's nothing on the other side of the door. If ever I've heard of either, Either there's absolutely nothing or there's an orc party (laughs) in the next room. (laughs) Yes. So, uh, are you guys are you guys ready uh, to get out of this? I guess we can't all actually. I hate to stand in front of these damn things. I'm kind of waiting for there to be room for me to get ready to run if I have to. Same. Okay. Okay. Why? Well, You're fine. You got it. You got it. Oh. Okay. That. The walls of this circular room are smooth and gray. A ribbon of blue, pale blue light coils and slithers through the air, connecting the floor at the center of the room to the ceiling 15 feet above. The points where this light touches the stone above and below seethe and writhe, as if the stone itself were suffering from an infection. The desiccated remains of an enormous worm lie slumped around the ribbon, forming a crescent of shriveled and tattered Purple flesh. Okay, well, I close the door. There's other doors, right? (laughs) (laughs) No, thanks. And I Uh, see there is a door off to the right. Um, I don't see anything else. I mean, I kind of waved, like, go in a little bit, like, make some room. I'm kind of stuck. I mean, I'll, I can fine. make some room. It's, it's fine. fine. You can go in. <laughs> there you go. I'm stepping up the hallway twice. Okay. I still don't trust these things. Does it seem like this right, room would be? I, I so I I bring I've sent Scoot down. Drop drop him on the ground and send him right inside the door and. Okay. He he'll see. He probably wants to go crawl around that worm. He loves to crawl on things. So yeah. He goes up. Yep. Yeah. He does exactly that, <coughs> kind of wandering around on the on the giant worm. And then I'll command him back. Anything to? Do you see anything else moving in there? Um, uh, no, he did not. That's fine. Okay, I'll leave him free again to go eat, feed the worm a little bit. Is it good? You think it's it's fine? It won't hurt him. Trick. What were you saying? So if I'm like trying to get my bearings, it would be we be right under the gauntlet. Give me uh, a nature roll. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, you think that there's a possibility this could be right under the the uh, lighthouse. It appears to be about the same size. Is the color kind of the same color as that? Was that the gauntlet? Yes. 
It looks like it goes farther it goes, down. It kind of. It comes up through the floor, or it's connected. It to is the floor. connecting the floor and the ceiling. Hey, this looks like some weird cult oh, shit. Do you do you know anything, Z Dog? I'm gonna push my way in, and I don't, I doubt. I'm gonna try to recall knowledge on this light beam. I'm sure I'm detecting magic. I mean, uh, yes, but, yes. Uh, I'm, re I'm trying to recall knowledge on like what this instrument or magical device might be. Um, you have never seen anything like. It. Wow, I love it. Too bad Kinda, we don't have the uh, bloody bedroll. You can toss it in there. I, I have it. I have it on me. What do I do with it? Oh, put it on the... Okay. So I squat down and pull out my scabbed over bedroll. Okay. And I kind of step over the worm. It looks very dead, right? Yes. You'll Climb. need to walk around it, though. It is a very I, I mean, big worm. Can I make worm. an athletic check to crawl over it? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, this seems more... Intriguing. I would say it's athletics, not acrobatics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How hard could that be? Right. There. Okay. Yeah. You right. climb so over. Kinda... You climb over the desiccated corpse of the worm. Uh, and uh, I lay the bedroll down. Oops. See if it blocks the. What beam. did I do there? I I dragged you while you were dragging yourself. I have no oh, idea. That's weird. I don't know. Um, I try to cut, I block the beam with it. I just throw. I unroll it and. Does the beam go through the bedroll? Is it blocked um, like light beam? Or I, this is a five. Around? This is a five foot diameter thing. Are you putting your hands in it? I am unrolling the bed. Or the, it's kind of the bedroll is sort of hardened a little bit. Okay. I'm taking it out and trying to like flip it, you know, over to the beam without okay. getting my hands in it. Although that's a possibility, I suppose. Okay, um, so you're trying not to get your hands into the beam. Correct, yes. Okay, uh, you unroll the bedroll as much as you can. It's kind of crusty on the end, and it doesn't unroll all the way, but it's in the blue light now, and uh, it appears to just be sitting there. Oh, is it? Okay. I look back at the group and give a thumbs up. <laughs> 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 Well, I guess we're done here. <laughs> I <walk around. laughs> what are these, what are these uh, crunchy things on the ground? Bones. 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 Yeah. Crunchy bones. How about the ceiling? It's just a un, uh, just a plain stone ceiling. Yes. I want to do a recall knowledge to see if I know anything about this worm or what the fuck is going on in this room. Can okay. Um. You do not recognize this creature or understand why it would be here. Um, you <coughs> had him do a nature roll. What is that? Um, the nature roll was to identify. He was trying to determine if he if if his physical location oh, underground. Okay. He was trying to see if he if this could be the gaunt light above. And it was determined that it may very well be. Yes. All right. Uh, one exit out of the room. I mean, it's probably just keeps going down. <clears throat> There's probably more levels of this below that. Hey, uh, Wes, was yeah. this door secret um, that we come through? Does it look like a secret door from no, this side? It was not a secret no? door. Mm, okay. Why do they have like a storehouse of major dumbos next to this? Nothing, no writing on the walls or anything? No. I go listen at this other door. The worm alive? The worm is dead. The worm is quite dead. Yes. Okay. It is a desiccated corpse. Um, okay. You can do it. You can listen at the door. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You are fairly confident that there is nothing on the other side of this door. I think this room is just, it's an intermediate spot. That, that beam is going farther down this dungeon that the answer is not here. I just want to know where the worm came from. 
Well, you know, the worm. I want to throw a bone into the blue. Okay. Take one of the bones, throw it into the five foot thing. Uh huh. Okay. It it lands in uh clinks on the stone under the under the blue light and stays there. I think it needs to be organic. Should we drag yeah. the guy? I say, uh, Zug Zug, you should uh, toss your centipede into the blue light. See what happens. He loves adventure. Can you make give a uh, make a roll for me? What are you doing? I, John, roll to influence me. I, I would say that me sacrificing my god for adventure is DC 15. DC 15? Yeah, so right. do a make an impression on me. Alright, alright. Uh, huh. There we go. Just do a, yep, yep, public. I found it. Sorry. Yeah, no. Well, that does that's that a helps. critical failure. You are what a what a maroon. <laughs> <laughs> How dare I? I would never. I would never. We can drag the guy in. Does somebody want to go get the? Well, he's, oh, he's already dead. dead, though. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I, I see. Think. If a bone didn't do anything, I don't yeah. think he would. Yeah. I want to look at this thing's like mouth. I okay. want to like get all up in it and then. Oh, he wants a it. tooth. Is what he wants. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is a. It is a huge worm with purple skin and it is uh it is very dead you can kind of pry open its mouth and look down its throat if it's a worm you just think it's its mouth yeah so, if i can get a teeth or a scale or something i want to try to um these this this doesn't look like it has scales as much as it has segments yeah and uh you don't think um you don't you think segment that it would be very difficult to carry one it would be they would be like four feet across we can, we have a dagger this could be our entire adventure now <laughs> <laughs> Anything for a cause. Anything for a cause. I just wanted There's something that we could bring to identify, like maybe somebody in town. But I could print another memory of it. I, I want to save it for something else. Yeah, I think we're good. Wish we had a, a something else living. There's no. Do, is there, do we? Can I, I'm going to search around using survival for like a do little wanna, spider or a a. We, Oh, Something. I can like call to a rat. Can you get let's get stuff? Yeah, just fan out, find an uh, animal. Is that something you can do? You just have like a little horn in your back pocket. And <laughs> That's you a pot. I, 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 I believe I it's can a five. Say, it be a five. Here, it, ratty rats. Um, let me. You're gonna you, sacrifice your people? I yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a survival check to scout the room and try to find like a little spider or a little. You know, beetle or some kind of. Uh, this this room um, appears to be devoid of all life. Right. Well, except for this. Yeah. Where did this worm even get here? There's no evidence of something burrowing through anywhere. It's just smooth nope. stone. Well. All right, I'm getting itchy. Let's open the next door. Sure. Oh, I'm not doing it. Bron will do it. Actually, Bron's a little injured. Can Bron get like a little um, love? I can take a healing potion if need be. It just yeah. I'll uh, yes. I would. I wanted to give you. Actually, I have some. I need to be giving them away. I just couldn't do it last time. Let's see if I'm allowed to drag you a potion now. Okay. Healing okay. potion. How would I go about doing that? Go into your inventory and just yep. drag and drop it onto my user icon in the my character's icon in this the map. <clears throat> Uh, negative. That's strange. Does it give you an error? No, I just I see the icon dragging over to you. Uh, it's over yeah. your icon now. I'd yeah, let was, go and nothing happens. I was able to drag and drop the fear gem onto you. Huh. No, oh, that's a formula. Sorry. Uh, derp. Inventory. There we go. 
that give you one? Still have four. Oh, how many do you want to move? Okay, here we go. Move. There, there we, we go. go. We did it. You should be able to get a a a, a treat wounds from Calliope too. Oh God. Oh, that was. And you still need one. Actually. I'm not very good at yeah, yeah making do. potions. Okay. Well, I'm sure the okay, potion was fine. It just over. ran down most of my <laughs> face. <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a first batch. I'm gonna yeah. give you another one uh, while I'm doing it. I made them for you. It's now. still telling me I have to have a healer's tools. Yeah, or healing just just click the button regardless. And if it works. I did, but yay! Thank you, sir. Could you do me too? Just since you're since you're doing it. Sure. Let me target you, and I will try again. But it still keeps telling me all the bad okay. things. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll do it. I'm gonna do the things for you. Thank you. Do a treat wounds. Here we go. That's four. That was four. Brond. And then we've got Fury targeted. Put the healers get in your equipment slot. Yeah, it's very loud. Very loud in my ears. And there we go. That's uh that's six points i'm applying that healing to okay so because you have to be wearing your healer's kit to tools to use it so it can't be in your a container or your backpack or anything like that it has to be like equipment it says it's worn okay hmm yeah i mean if it's worn okay. it should be good Okay, so you guys have gotten some healing. You're standing in front of the door. Kapiri is pretty sure there is nothing on the other side of that door. I open it. Okay. What do I see? Because I don't see anything. There is there's a there's a small five foot hallway that goes down and goes to both the left and the right. Oh, maybe I need to. S oh yeah, I'll. Uh... You gave your torch to uh, Zanzibar. Yeah, I was gonna say that's my problem is I don't have a torch. That's why I, I can't see anything. Yeah, I hear. You know what? I you can have it back. Okay. I'm gonna give the you the torch back. Ever burning torch? Torch. Get off, uh, Kapiri. Get off. Yeah. Wait, where'd you go? <laughs> there you go. Quit moving around. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bron. You now have the ever burning torch. All right, I'm going to put my shield away and pull out the torch in my offhand. And uh, I'm going to step into this room. Okay. It ends I look around. on both sides, and it's a dead end on each side at five feet. I'm going to see what I can perceive. Okay. Um, which, which Where are you checking? Uh, to my left and right. Okay, uh, you don't detect anything. <laughs> Guys, well, it's a dead end. It's obviously a dead end. We're done here. I'm going to look around. To do some <laughs> I'm also going to thorough see it search every inch of the room very okay. slowly, methodically. Okay. Um, hold on. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. What do I? Do I just do a here? I'll put that what there. Yeah. I put that in the, I put it in the chat. Or is it a seek? Okay. Um, Trick, you notice uh, that there are a couple of stones that can be pushed um, on the wall in front of you. Uh. Push them, push them, push them, push them. <laughs> I think I have, uh... 
forget, is disable device a thing? Uh, yes, I believe it's with thievery, except I think it's called something else now. It's disarm. Yeah. I am the best in the party. Why am I the best in the fuck? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I don't see I don't see disarm in the basic action. It's in this It's on the uh RPM. second from the left, third one down. Disarm. Maybe I don't have it. I mean, yeah. What is it's, your it's a, it is a trained it's a trained oh, gotcha, thing. Gotcha. Okay. Plus nine. Actually I'm seeing Trick has the best in the party. Oh. Well good. Thank God. Plus nine. Jeez, that's pretty good. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Roll disable device. I'm not trying to disable it. I just want to see how it works, or could I roll something else? Uh, I mean, you're what you're trying to do? What? Uh, just see what it does, or see if it opens something. Okay, so you're gonna activate it. I want to look at it before I just blindly activate it. But if there's not a way to, then yeah. Okay. Um. You you you're pretty sure that this will open a door. Okay, then yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Okay. Um, so you open the door. Oops, sorry. Um, this plain circular room is empty. A single image of a moss caked skull adorns the eastern wall. Ron says, uh, "I don't, I don't know about this one, guys. This, um, yeah, this, 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 that, that, that doesn't feel good to me." Um, what look, part uh, of this whole <coughs> enterprise has felt good to you? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Dead look one. real hard, look real hard at the skull. <clears throat> okay. Um, you are unsure what it does. Or if it does anything. It was a painting, you said? No, no, it's no, a, it's a, it's a um, actual skull. Yes, it's a, it's a metal, a piece of metal. A single oh. image of a moss cake skull adorns the eastern wall. Uh, I rolled a ball in there. Okay. The ball rolls across the floor. All right, I may just hand it back. That's. That's what I had, so... Okay. Wait, so it's an <laughs> image? Like... Like, it's it, it appears to be, like, a shape. Like a like an object on the wall that you can touch, um, but it's just a... It, it appears to be a moss-covered skull. Uh, I will use the mage hand to go gently move the skull side to side. Okay. Um, you take the mage hand, you move it towards the skull. There, there does not appear to be any moving parts. Can I try to lift it off the wall? Is it too heavy? Is it more than it is? Uh, it does not budge. Or... It is attached to the wall. Okay. And it's facing us, huh? Mm hmm. You can see, you look down there, you can see that there's a little thing. Uh, a little skull facing west. Oh, so not facing us. No, it's, yes, it's on the it, yeah. it is yeah, on the I, east I wall facing west. Okay, yeah, I, I I just can't see it, but I imagine yeah. I can I'll go down. Is across. that is that supposed to be anything like a little hole or? Uh, that is a light uh, that does not appear to be working. Uh, okay, okay, I gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's fine. Hey, it's a small hey, room. Why don't you uh, get in there and check out that skull? I wouldn't get right in front of it, but um. You look like you're handy at figuring things out. And I, I hand you the, the ever-burning torch, which I don't even think you need. Oh, so dark. And everything goes dark. <laughs> I'm going to double check for mechanisms over here while everyone else yeah, is fumbling around in the dark. Or there, I think. Uh, you, you're not allowed to double up on perception checks, are you? I mean, I now know that there was something on the other side of the 
okay. the hallway. So, okay. Yeah, you could say look for a similar. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm rocking two swords, so I cannot hold the torch. So, well, then you're gonna have to give it back. Uh, where did you go? Okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you see a similar mechanism here as well. Like, are you? Uh, somebody must be on top of you. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm right here. I'm sorry. Okay. I was, I was on you. It was dark. I'm sorry. I thought you were the floor. You know, being able to see in the dark, this is hilarious. <laughs> 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 Stepping in the room. Okay, you are currently well, in the circular room. I'm making sure I'm like not in the direct beam of the, okay. the stair. Okay, I'm gonna like just walk over to it and kind of poke it with a sword. Okay, like ding ding. Okay, you poke it with a sword. Nothing happens. You do not see anything or understand anything to have happened. All right, I'm going to activate the mechanism over here, see what happens. Okay. I'm going to step back. <laughs> okay. The door opens. Oh, there we go. Um, broken down torture instruments lie in half collapsed heaps on the floor here. To the, to the north slumps a ruined stretching rack, while to the south a pillory lies fallen on the floor. Rusty tongs and chains, frayed and rotten whips, and other implements lie on tottering shelves. Man. They must have thrown some killer dinner parties. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'll step in. Okay. See what happens. Step inside. So, so what happened with the skull? You just went over there and no, you nothing happened, so you left. Yep. He was going to this room, so I didn't want to. Yeah. There's another door. And it looks like this leads back to that big long hallway that we were in earlier. Uh oh, oh yeah, makes sense. The mysterious clean part of the hall. And we, uh, you know, check the room for any. Yeah, search around for any bits. Okay. Of victims. Yep. Give me some. Give me, give me or... some kind of a perception check. Yeah. Uh, you guys spend some time looking around and nobody finds anything it just I'm appears to be a bunch of ruined torture equipment and go open this door okay you look out Keep the door uh, and yes you are once again in the hallway that had several large brackets in the ceiling. Um, you are just past, even though this picture does not show it, um, you are just past a line where the floor, walls, and ceiling are impeccably clean. There's a lot of detrius around, like broken things, but there is no mold or dirt past the line Two and a half feet south of you. I must have a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> I need to fix the settings on it. Does it look like it's been scrubbed? Oh, and, um, and you do notice um, a pale green light coming from uh, co shining around the door to your north. Okay. Yeah, I, assume did, I didn't go magic. in there, did we? No. no. No, you guys didn't come in, go in anything in this hallway. You I guys. I have magic within 30 feet of me. Um, does it go through walls? Yes. Um, you. I'm not 
blah, blah, blah. Uh, 30 foot emanation. Uh, so, but it's not a bit. I don't, I'm not seeing it. I'm sensing it. So I'm gonna yeah. say yes. Um, I'm gonna say yes. You detect magic. Is the color that's coming the same hue as the gaunt light? Um, no, no. It is green. Actually, there's a green shimmering light around the door to the north. Okay. And does this hallway look just like it's been cleaned normally, or or is the stone unusually polished, or does it look unnaturally clean? Um, it it um, it you're it it's just striking. To the south of this line, there is mold, mildew, dirt, and then right now, at that line, and it's a straight line. All the walls and ceilings look as if they have been clean. Also, I kind of hate the blue light from this ever-burning torch. I wonder if I can modify that. There you go. It's oh, black yeah. now. Yeah. Um, well, there's that's stains just... everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's just so by making it black, it just makes it so that we can see normal. Oh, vision. okay. Gotcha. It doesn't give it a... Gotcha. I think that's better. The blue yeah, is kind of sickly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it made this place look more run down than it, and scary than it is. Yeah, but maybe that's what they were going for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you see the giant dead worm? I did. I I am surprised I wasn't more intrigued by it, but I don't know. It just didn't seem unusual to me. Is everyone still like here? I think. I think we got everybody back. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Do we want to go check out this door to the north? For sure. Zig yeah. Zug seems uh, pretty intrigued by it. I think the glowing is always a good sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, pale green light shimmers around the closed door frame. Uh, it is... It is not... It's not something you've seen before in here. <clears throat> Do I perceive anything about the door beyond the door? No. Recall knowledge to know if I know if it's a spell or other magical effect I recognize are on it is, the door. It is not a spell that you recognize. I throw my ball at it. Okay. I hit Ron in the back of the head. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> okay, What's yeah, yeah, with all the balls? The right. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I, I bounced, attempt to bounce the ball off the door. Okay. You succeed. It bounces right. off. And <laughs> wow, you didn't even have to roll? Yeah. Wow. I'm out again. again. Right, I assume good. you can throw a tiny ball <laughs> 10 feet at a door. All right. That's, again, that's what I got. So, Ron opens the door. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's not the door with the green. It's oh, up, yeah. the one to the north. the north is. Oh, oh, I apologize. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. I opened the door. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Um, this 10 foot washroom features an iron bathing tub to the north and a commode to the southwest. The north wall glows and shimmers with rippling ribbons of eerie green light. The light kind of like moves in patterns on the floor and then it slides up the wall in front of you and starts to form letters and the letters read I was Otari save me from below then the green light starts pouring down off of the wall and um and and starts Moving down the hallway. Um, I am transfixed by this green light, and I must follow it. I'm following the green light. Yeah, I love it. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a cat, As, so I'm not transfixed um, by the light. I can't. Wait, I wait, 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 wait. Not everybody go. Okay. Just me. Y yeah, step back. Calliope starts following it first. Um, Zanzibar, you begin hearing five scaling trumpet notes that you have heard before in a vision as Clover walks down the hallway 
after the green light. Throw your okay. ball. I need I to. I. I don't think. I don't think the ball's gonna do anything. I don't think that. that does I'm just rewinding the light. Hold on. <laughs> and then the. Did I follow the right way? It, yes, uh, it's it, it it is snaking down the hallway. Uh, this this little thing it doesn't do it, but but it it looks as if it's weaving back and forth, and Calliope is stepping along with it. Um, and it she appears to be following a set of footsteps that you guys don't see. Um, I'm trying to find the the a section. Of, I need a second on the journal. Okay. It's a druid thing. You want me to pull it up for you? I have it up. Okay. Yeah. Is it the hmm, what? So in the in the vision, is it um like the three rising notes heralding the three eras? What what is the um, it's right the trumpet notes after that. It's the it's the it's that it melody. is five notes. It goes yeah. up five notes and down five notes. I don't remember how I did it, you know, but I believe it was Yeah. That's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So you okay. definitely That's... recognize this from your vision. You I have, have seen I've... this exact scene before. I asked Scoot if, if I asked Scoot if I should be following this. Um, um, Scoot says, "This is." Scoot looks at you and says, "This is part of the plat the path that we have before us." Oh, I'm so excited. It is, I start looking giddy. It is. It is. Uh, there is no denying that this that this is part of the future. I both saw and didn't see. Um, I, I don't completely let Scoot finish before I stuff him in my pocket again and okay. start following Kalai okay. excitedly. Okay. <laughs> uh, the light disappears under the door that's in front of you, uh, and you notice that the clean, the clean lion ends right before that first door on the north. Oh, is it clean in the washroom? No. Uh, no, it is no. not clean in the washroom. So... Braun does not notice everybody has left him and takes a step into the washroom. Okay. Um, and uh, starts looking around. A large part <clears throat> of the color here has faded and, um, and, and drained out of the room. But you can tell that it, it, um, it, it, it there is a slight shimmer to everything here. There is still some kind of resonance here, even though it appears it just left out the door. I want to check out the bathtub and the latrine. Okay. Um, you do not locate anything. The latrine um, appears to be like there is no fresh usage. It, there is no urine or poop in it. Uh, it does not appear to have been used any time in recent past. Bron shuts the door behind him. No. Right. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I'll be with you guys in a minute. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Bron, like having checked that out, realizes he's alone and uh, heads back out into the hallway rather quickly. <laughs> okay. So, I pulled my bullseye lantern out when Braun went away. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm now carrying it and kind of almost clutching the back of Calliope's clothes as she goes down the hall. Okay. She stops at the door and uh, and and looks back at you guys. I I motion to the door. We Don't let it get away. Must, we have to go through this door. I am compelled. I start we reaching past to her to try to open the door. I'm opening the door. Okay. Feel free to click on it. Oh, I can click? Yep. Okay, I clicked. Hey, okay. Ron, isn't it nice not being in the front for once? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh... Go, 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 go. Do we still see it? I keep craning my neck around Calliope. Okay. I just sent you a message, Calliope. 
Okay, you guys open up, and there is a five-foot hallway beyond, and then it turns... Um, ooh, wait. It turns 90 degrees, and... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. The light goes down the hallway and turns to the right there and goes through the doorway there. Also, you would have followed it that yes. way. Yes, yeah. yes. So. Okay, you open the door. Um, so the light comes into the room and begins doing circles around here. Um, you're not really sure what's going on, um, uh, but there's a ruined table and several destroyed chairs that lie in a heap in the middle of this room, along with several large bones. Um, circling around them? Yes, it is. It is. It it appears. Um, somebody give me a perception check. Maybe. Um, trick, it, it, it looks as if someone were moving, the footsteps are moving around the room, reacting to something. Like, like in a, in an excited, like a, like they're being attacked or they're searching or they're talking. I mean, is uh, it, 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 it scene? you're not really sure about that. But these steps appear to be, like, responding to something. And as you watch, the bones in the middle of the room begin coalescing. I try to grab one of them and throw it out towards Brond. Okay. Oh, no. As as it's moving along the like, as it's moving along the ground, I just grab like the bit the one I can find and hurl it towards the doorway. Okay. Uh, it it kind of bounces back as if when you throw it in the air, it's being pulled. Um, there is a the bones are moving towards each other. Can I tell what it is before it reforms? Um, it's something large. I'm it is a the torch in the back of his coat. It is a belt. biped, a large biped. I start shaking Scoot frantically, asking if we're supposed to kill it, and kind of motioning for the group to hold off. Like, I'm worried this might be a chance that I'm going to lose if we do the wrong thing here. Um, okay, I'm going to... Do some kind of scoot intelligence check here. And then out of character, like, I don't have any, you know, scoot isn't, I, I have no clue what scoot even is, so. You, yeah, uh, scoot, like, scoot is not responding to your inquiry. Okay. <laughs> uh, I stand in between, to try to get in between the skeleton and the group, kind of okay, looking back the, at it. It, forming it, it the, appears that the skeleton will fully be pulled together within the next round. Yeah, I, I kind of get up. Uh, uh, I try to stand right, right here, just watching. I try to watch both the party and the skeleton. I, I, I'm not sure what. I look very uncertain. Okay. But I'm, I'm not doing anything to stop it forming. Is anyone else doing anything? I uh, raise my sword and shield. Okay. Anyone else and doing anything? Stoke the flames. Um. I take out my sword. Um, I can disrupt undead, I guess, but that's within combat, I think. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the bones start pulling together, and um, uh, Zanzibar, you need to take one step to the east. As the bones pull together and stand up, uh, okay. And uh, it's time to roll initiative. I, yeah. Bom, bom, bom. What is what does it look? It looks like that, I guess. Yes. Okay. Ugh. Come oh, on. 
on. It's fine. First. Okay, uh, we're still missing, uh, yeah, I'm... and we're still missing, um, yes, Fury. Okay. Calliope, you notice the giant skeletal figure standing up in the middle of the room? Yeah, I'm casting Disrupt Undead. Um, casting filling out target attempt <coughs> basic fortitude. Okay, well, let's try. No, 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 I got that. Okay. okay, uh, it fails its fortitude save. Oh, I roll damage. Yes. Not very high, but um. You did eight points of damage to the skeletal giant. Okay. Um, that was two points. That was two uh, of my um, moves. So I have really nothing left. So I will just peace out. Again. Okay. Petition for four. Okay. Brond, it is your turn. Okay. Brond is going to hit this bad boy with a power attack. That's going to hit on the nose. Boom! You hit it for six points damage. Uh um, Brond is going to raise his shield and that is it for Brond okay, Kupiri, it is your turn alright um I'm just curious, has this thing made any threatening gestures to us or did it just show up and we started beating it up you just started beating it up but I'll point out, it's a pile of bones coalescing into a giant. Judgy, please. Also, it made us roll initiative. It's yeah. its fault. And we and by the way, Kupiri, yes, you are still enfeebled. Okay. All right, I will step in uh, and uh, take take a shot. See Maybe we should just run. Can it get through the door? Um, it's it's a huge creature, or large. Pardon me, large creature. What is up with me and the ones tonight? God, it's a hero point if you don't have one. Not gonna hero point a damage roll. Okay, it does no and damage to the skeletal giant. Is it? I'm sorry. Miss. Okay, I'm done. Okay, the skeletal giant lifts itself up and it swings its glaive. Um, let's do. Um, okay, it uh, swings its glaive against Brond and Kupiri. Just wait, it might be a healing glaive. <laughs> um, so that's a uh, hit on Brond, very close to a crit. Ooh. Oh, you're private, <laughs> by the way. You're privately rolling. Oh, sorry, sorry. Nope. Um, doing, uh, 12 points of damage to Brond, which I'm applying, and then attacking Kupiri. Okay. 
and a crit missing. Um, and uh, hold on just one second. Oh, it didn't actually damage. Oh, he did, did damage. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but that's a crit miss, which means that it gets no more attacks this round. So we're moving on, and it is now Trick's turn. Alrighty. Uh, hey, Wes. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. When it took no damage from me, was it because I was doing piercing damage? Um, that is a probability. Okay. If it would have taken damage from bludgeoning, yeah. it would take the damage because of my ammo. Uh, I do, I do piercing or bludgeoning, whichever is least resistant. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you do two points of damage to it. I will manually take off. Right. You did two points, right? I did two points. Yes. Okay. Okay. I have manually taken those hit points off. Absolutely. Nice. Trick, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hold up my spark blade and let it shoot off its electricity <coughs> charge. Okay. So it needs to make a DC 19 reflex. Okay. Uh, do you have some kind of, can you, can you, ins let me see how you inspire that. Is there a. It's on my character sheet, but I think if I click it, it rolls it. So. Yeah, but um, drag it to the chat. Can you uh, do that? Oh, there we go. You hit the little speech. Okay, okay here we go. I'm selecting the skeletal giant and rolling the reflex save. Oh. And he wow. succeeded. So he takes half. Okay. Okay, there we go. And that was one action, so I'm going to swing the sword. Up. Come on. I feel like we need better fight. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, this is just the this is just the normal walking around the dungeon no, sound. Let's go for um. Here we go. What this one? See how this goes. Oh, I didn't have him targeted. Yeah, nothing happened. He didn't roll anything. Okay. Uh, well, so, just make sure—is that a critical miss? Uh, that is no. That is not a critical miss. Okay, so I'll sw swish one more time at him. <coughs> okay, that's going to be a hit. Wow. And he Man, takes no damage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Is that the end of your attacks? Yeah. Even okay. though it's magical, I forget how. Yeah, never mind, never mind. That's Zanzibar, it is your turn. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I release Scoot to the ground. Okay. Under the control of my patron. I have a new focus reaction. Do we have action. do we have Scoot with us? Where where oh Scoot's way back here. Hold on. Burp, 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 burp. There we go. Uh, yeah, over, sorry. So uh, I, basically, re there's a reaction I have that lets the patron take control. Okay. Uh, focus spell. I'm going to cast it. It doesn't take an action to cast. I just at the start of my turn. Okay. Uh, it basically releases Scoot to the control of. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. So I throw Scoot to the ground and look confused. Okay. And uh, I guess I have to take my actions without waiting to see what he's doing. Okay. So I, um, I just don't know if we're supposed to kill it. So I'm going to, uh, for my first action, grab my rope out of my backpack. Okay. And uh, for my second action, I'm going to animate the rope. And I'm going to attempt to bind the skeleton with it. Okay. So uh, blah, 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 blah. The rope animates. I start snaking it around the ground. I give it two commands. So it crawls uh, up to 10 feet. And then it will bind the skeleton. Uh, so it's going to need to make a 
spell attack roll against the target's reflex DC. So we'll cast a spell. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't see a clicky for it, though, sadly. So spell attack roll. I'll just make that. Target this dude. Uh, I want to make a spell attack roll manually. Probably... Uh, proficiencies. Proficiencies here. That? No, I can't click that. Do we know how to do that? Can you click the plus whatever on your character sheet? I can do a... Well, it's going to be a plus 9. I'm just going to roll d20 plus 9 against the reflex DC of that thing. Okay, reflex DC is 18. No, oh, no, no! Stop! What? For ignore those. Well, I mean, D twenty. Just roll one D two. Well, you rolled two. I don't know which one to take. Well, neither of them would have oh, well, would have okay, beaten okay, an eighteen. Fine. I don't think. <laughs> but with I would need an eleven if it was an eighteen because it would be plus nine. Right. Right. Yeah. So I didn't see what the dice were. So they were both below eleven. Nine and five. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. Fine. So the rope will stay animated. That's my turn. Okay. What does Scoot do? Scoot, Scoot runs across and provides a flank to the people on the other side of the creature. Oh, okay. MVP. And Scoot pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, great. Actually, I'll take it. I'm not sure a familiar in the new rules can provide a flank, but I'll, I'll, we, we, I'll we're gonna, we're gonna let it, we're gonna let it be just for this encounter, yeah. if nothing yeah. better, because I think yeah. that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, now it is Calliope's turn. Yes. Um. Okay. I'm. Uh, does anybody need definitive heals? I know Bronn could use some, but or or I can cast um. My undead spell on him. So yeah. what's Bronze is fine. Well, Bronze a little injured. You can tell by looking at him, but he's yeah. not too hard up. Probably be better off me, not getting yeah. hit again. I'm gonna yeah. cast a spell on this guy then. Um, I think this is a good idea. Disrupt yeah. undead on undead. Yes, please. <laughs> Disrupt undead, and he okay. Does I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the the fortitude save. fortitude save. I fail. Oh no, I succeed. Sorry. Damn it. Uh, then I can't do anything, right? No, no, no. You deal one d six positive damage, but if he fails, <coughs> uh, he takes more damage. Oh, okay. Um, then I will roll damage. Um, you should have only done one D six of that. I just clicked the button. Yeah, I know. Uh, so we're going to divide that in half and do six to him. Okay. Boop. Okay. Takes the six damage. He's not feeling good. You still and have one more action. I don't. Okay. I could throw something at him. Well, one other thing you could do is take one step north. And if you did that, you would definitely provide the flanking cover for the people okay. across. No, 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 north, 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 north. North, north. The other here. North. Okay, and I have now taken a step and created flanking cover. Okay, so so the thing is, yeah, is yeah. that um, you have to be directly across from somebody to provide flanking uh, sidewise, okay? So for instance, there's no way Brond could have flanking right now because it would have to be diagonal from him. But... Calliope provides flanking for Zanzibar and Trick right now. Um, and a five foot step does not provoke a uh, attack of opportunity or a reactive strike. Pardon me. Brond, it is your turn. <clears throat> All right. Brond is going to hopefully smack the shit out of this mofo. Hopefully. Attack. That's going to hit. You do 11 points of damage to the skeletal giant. All right. Bond. By the way, Trick, you believe that these footsteps that you're watching <gasps> are 
someone in a fight in this room with this very creature. Mm. All right, that's it okay. for Bron. He, uh, yeah. Kupiri, what would you like to do? <clears throat> Kupiri is going to do what Kupiri does best and shoot somebody. Roll ones. Shoot her in the face. Only on damage. Damn, I only I'm roll a ones dick. on damage. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a critical hit. Okay. Nice. Bam! Oof. The skeletal. I would have done full damage, but. Huh? That would have done full the, damage. His ammo but type. It's okay. He's yeah, dead. it's all right. It it's took it. All he needed was 15 points of damage. Uh, the skeletal giant collapses. Um, and, uh, but the footsteps continue to fight as if whoever was here, whoever's footsteps these are, it took much longer for this fight originally. They clearly didn't have a frog with them. <laughs> Duh. Not our frog, at least. I don't know. They might have had a frog, but it was... Not nearly as effective. So does the light, what does the light keep? The footsteps are still fighting, right? Right. So and I then. I scoot up and just watch the footsteps. Okay. And then, and then the, the, all of a sudden the footsteps stop. And then after about a minute and a half, the footsteps go through the Western door. Okay. I immediately try to follow them. I'll have to try to push past Calliope to open the door. If... Okay. Are you guys just following the footsteps? I, um, I'm following let's them. Get the, let's get that. Leaving the room. Brian, do you want to carry that half plate? Um, I'm, I'm working on it. Yep. I was on I'll it. I'll get the glaive. I got a glaive. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, you I got the glaive. Cool. I'm sorry. You, you want cool. the glaive? I'll give it to you. Nah. I just grabbed it. Okay. Nah. You have a lot more bulk than me capacity. Okay. Footsteps go down the hallway and then disappear into the wall on the on the right side. Okay. Well, I immediately start searching. Okay. Uh, perception. And I throw Scoot to the ground and say, how do we get in? Uh, you, the, 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 it is obvious to you that if you push on the stones in a particular way, that the door will open. Okay. I just hurriedly do it. Okay. Moment. This. Boop. This is a weird kind of thing. I have to go in and edit the walls and turn a secret door yeah. into a door. Yeah, it seems weird. Right? And then update the wall. There should be some kind of mechanism for that that's more intuitive. Mm. Uh, anyway, as you as you open the door, and you can do it right now. I did. Oh, I did. Uh, why do I see other shit? You don't have a torch, do you? You have your bullseye yeah, lantern still? Bullseye lantern on, okay. It's, it, so, apparently it's radiating only one direction. I don't know how to right. rotate it. So. So, so anyway, basically the light turns and goes down a set of stairs and then dissipates as it goes down the stairs. I, okay, I, I'm... Why can't I not uh, go down these I'm stairs not anymore? I'm ready to go down these stairs yet. Well, I follow the light blindly. and, and uh, right, That's just it. About... I'm, what I'm saying is, before it gets all the way down the stairs, yeah. the light disappears. Uh, okay, so I stop... I, I'll, I'll yield the control to yeah. whatever people are doing. I stop where the light stops here, and I start yelling back to the party. Come on, come on, come on. It actually, go one step south. Okay. That's where you are. You aren't at the bottom. You aren't even, there's a there's a platform down there that you can see ahead of you, but, but, the, but the light disappeared where you're standing. Okay. I'm just sort of searching around to see if I can see it went through a wall or anything. I'm just sort of pushing on the floors and the walls and uh, I throw Scoot back down and ask where it went. Where are we doing? Where are we supposed to be going? Um, uh, Scoot kind of does a circle around your feet and then crawls up you uh, up your leg and says we've seen all we can see from that spirit. Alright. 
so I sit down on the top of the stairs here with Scoot and okay. think about this. I'm going to spend time refocusing. Okay. So I'll, I'll, be tw I'll be here for like 20 minutes. Okay. So that's me. What else are other people doing? You guys are claiming the armor from the previous room. Yeah, um, and the glaive. There are some stairs going down. Um, yeah, I want to check that out. Okay, uh, I, I uh, hold on. A, a thick knot of roots hangs from the cavern roof. You can see a muddy beach to the south, and the stone stairs lead down to this muddy beach. Are there any footprints or anything in the mud? Anything like that? Uh, you step there? <laughs> I, I do. Okay. <laughs> um, hold on just one moment. Check something. I'm going to describe this area as swampy. <laughs> Not there, but I wonder, is this like... Okay, this um... Uh... Brond and, um... Kupiri... Suddenly, you find yourself enveloped in coal. Coal? Savage, cruel cold. And you oh, each cold. take 11 points of damage. <clears throat> Ow. Uh. I'm going to provide the damage to Kapiri. Um... I uh you got you two guys make a perception check. Oh. I guess I did public. That's fine. Um Kupiri, you think you you look around and there is a large amount of mold covering the ground where you're standing and crawling up the walls of this segment. Okay, I step out of the mold if I can. Okay. Um, come on just a second. Does the cold get better when I step out? Um Hold on just a moment. I need to check something. This one is a little weird. Got to figure out how this is working. Okay, um, you, you believe you have gotten away from the mold, and it does not appear to be on you. Ron, you are currently not, you, even where you were, you are not standing in the mold. Okay. Um, Ron is going to, uh, take a step back anyways and then step into this hallway okay. and, hey, uh, and uh, sit down for a moment and heal himself because he's he's hurting. Yeah. I reach over and uh, wave the brawn and then just put my finger on him and do my other lay on hands. Okay. Ooh. Yep. <clears throat> I'm refocusing back now but uh Oh. Kupiri, would you say it's probably been about 20 minutes since you fought the, the Major Domo? I don't know. Uh, I don't have a watch. I'm going to uh, say I'm going to say it's been about 20 minutes. Okay? okay. You are still enfeebled, so you know. Okay. 
I'm just staying there, continuing to focus, refocus. Okay. Uh, with what well, I don't even not asking questions about what's going on. I'm sure they're okay. fine. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's. Fine. Well, I want to see if I know what happened to my friends. Should I do a recall knowledge or nature or? Um. Yes. Um, you're, you're, you're fairly confident this is some form of hazardous mold that, that, that is bad. Um, but you don't see. You, you think that you could attempt to remove the mold from the walls and ground. But you might take some damage if you did it. I'll try it. Okay, give me a survival check. Hold on, wait. I'll actually give you a, a prompt. Go. Can we Oops, sorry, should have been blind. Okay, you succeed. Um, you have safely removed the mold from the pathway. Huzzah. How long did that take? Um, Probably, I'm going to go ahead and say about a minute. Okay, I'm probably still focusing then. Yes. <clears throat> okay, after I do that, I'm going to go down and just like look, peer around. Okay. Um, again, like you're looking down and suddenly you're in a water filled cavern. Um, you see roots hanging down all over the place and you see, uh, you see, you see that there is what appears to be swamp water around you. No signs of life. You do not detect anything as you're walking around. Um, you do hear some faint noise in the distance that you would think is like standard swamp sound. Mm -hmm. Like frogs, crickets, that kind of stuff. I want to get a frog. You don't see any frogs. Okay, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I see a frog. Sorry, sorry. What? Hmm? <laughs> hey, Wes, can we turn off one of the music tracks? We've got two playing. And oh, we do? Crazy. Oh, is it two? I just thought it was one bad one. Oh, no, you're right. I still have the combat music playing from earlier. There we go. I, was gonna, <laughs> Let's I just do realized that. I could turn it down. I forgot that I could do that. So Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm not going any further without the rest of the party. Are you do that. down or up? Oh, there we go. Okay, what do you tell the party about what's down there? Like, I, it's just swampy kind of stuff. I think if you look, if we look on, or think back to Scrog's map, this would be the bad guy throne. We're well off of his map, are we? No. He only, like, plotted that first level, didn't he? No. Or no, okay. There's yeah. two. Yeah. Oh, water. So, yeah, we're there. Yeah. Do we want to mess with the bad guy, then? I am going to bid you do for tonight. I am fading. Okay, Maybe I will run character. now on. Just handing it over to our DM to handle. Uh, he will heal you 
Very well. <laughs> no. He is laughing. Heal them. <laughs> good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Hey. So Ron goes ahead and takes a healing potion. Okay. <laughs> Which one? Uh, one of Jack's. Okay. Roll a d6 for me. Mm, I don't want to. All right. Hold on. You take one point of damage. Uh, do I still get the other healing, no, though? From no, no. Oh, oh. 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 I'm, yeah, Boss Kong's map confuses me. Yeah, it confuses me, too. Okay, so do you see, Remember that, that... Do you see that notch in the top right of mushroom-eyed people? Do you think that was that door to the east that went to the licky hole? Went to the what? The That's hallway that was cleaned. Oh. And you gotta remember the hidden stuff would not then, be on the map. And then that so. unlabeled room to the west of the mushroom eyed people, that was the that was the altar. Right. And then there was a secret door that is not on this map that went north right. from there. Yeah, so we're off the map at this point, right? No, that secret, that was the door to the conference room. No, the door to the conference room. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you this map and see if I can't work this out. Hold on. The secret door Wait. to the north. So I'm showing you this, right? Yeah. And yeah. right there. No, you can't see right that. There. Never mind. You, That's you, not have to pay. you can hold it. But no, you can't. No, nope, not on this. Okay, so... so um, <laughs> That empty room to the west of Mushroom Eyed People was the altar. And there was a secret door in the north of that that you took north to the round room. And then you went east, right? And then north and then west. I would have thought the Mushroom Eyed People was where we fought the Mushroom Eyed People. It was. And you, then the hallway. You yeah, came... the shrine. And the, there was a secret door to the conference room. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so we're at the swamp dragon area, basically. I wish you could keep. Oh, I can't keep both these things up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you if you hit pop out, you can actually move it yeah. to other monitors. Even. Yeah, that's that's what I did. Right. So we went there. Then there's the shrine. We didn't actually take. Well, let's say, let's assume we, yeah, so interesting. So we didn't take the door north. If you go west from Mushroom Eye people, mm -hmm. and then into the shrine room, I think the door on the boss's map we didn't take. We found the secret Correct. door instead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so, but we're basically kind of in the Swamp Dragon area now. We just yeah. maybe you're coming at it a different way. So do we want to loop back around? But isn't it back up? Didn't we come down? Didn't we go down those stairs down? No. No. The stairs down, we went down our secret unknown stairs. Did you oh, want to try okay. another healing potion, Bron? I'll give you another. I may, I baked them just for you. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll, or you I'll could try another, another legitimate jack one. I'm fucking I... terrified. <laughs> Why don't you try it? You know what? I'm going to try it. Okay. Roll a D6. Jesus Christ. D6. Okay. Roll a D8. Um, what'd you get? A two? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're healed for two points of damage. All right, well, I just like gotta manually do it. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, I'll you take go. one of those potions. You, oh uh, yeah, yeah. You okay, want you're gonna try a legitimate jack, jack potion? No, I don't want a legitimate jack. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I didn't buy any from him for a reason. I don't trust <laughs> anyone that puts legitimate in their name. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm gonna cut that motherfucker next time I see him. 
uh, healing potion. Okay, here you go. I will I'll give you two, too, actually. You have an extra. Oh, no, I no. don't. I just gave both to the frog because you're drinking your oh, shitty you're right, trick you're potions. Right. You're right. I apologize. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, <coughs> save yours in the reserve. We'll make more. Yay, Tomorrow. two good points. Fantastic. I gave you two if you want to drink them both. I cheated myself out of two. I don't. I, I, I need to go back and look. I think I, I actually made six. There you go. That's my cauldron does, but there you go. Okay, I'm going to say that you have finished your um, centering or whatever it is, the refocusing. So I'm up, my stuff scoot back in my pocket. Okay. Oh my god, pocket. God pocket. That's what I like to call it, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you guys want to do? So what's up? There's some kind of um, beach, huh? We uh, gonna keep going. So oh, I the, think uh, we should like either territory. I think we should either go downstairs <laughs> or loop back around, finish off the mushroom people. I do not think we should go in the swamp. That's nah. just me. I don't feel there like are other, there are other today. places here we haven't explored. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, Ron's down. So. Let's shut this door. I'm sorry, I, I had to. I just was fixated on something for a moment there. Okay. Yeah, we. So can, let's we go can. back to the laundry room. Were you okay. fooling around with your? Uh, uh, don't forget, pocket. you can have Scoot ride you. Um, uh, well, I, I, yeah. uh, just take Scoot and move it over you, and then hit, I believe, H to mount. Is that what I said it was? I, I don't know. I don't know what game we're playing anymore. Okay. Uh. A, I think I have to target me. Yes. Maybe. And then how And then mount? H, I believe. I don't know. Is that it? Hold on, let me look it up. <coughs> Hold on. Uh manage modules. Uh, rideable. Okay. That was it. Wait. Controls. Rideable. Mount M. You can have Scoot mount you if you have Scoot selected and hit M and target you. Scoot selected. Target me. Yep. Hit M. Yep. There you go. Oh, look. Well, now I just look like a giant centipede. I know, but you have Scoot riding you now, right? That's a good thing, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you, you guys, go. where are you guys going? <clears throat> I have mounted Kapiri. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we uh, did we um finish looking around the restroom? <clears throat> I, should we go and check these doors? How do you unmount? <laughs> um, I uh, hold on. It's fine. It's fine, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Bra Braun, did you did you look around that restroom when Clyde and I ran off after the light? You unmount. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Uh, wait. Figure rolls. Rideable. Wouldn't it be M? N. No. N. Yeah, N for, for no nah, mount. Okay. <laughs> M to mount, N to nah, bro. Okay. Thanks for the ride. So uh, you guys are here in this hallway. Again, I want to point out that right where Brond is standing, he's standing in the middle of a line. And on the left, there is mold and mildew. And on the right, it is perfectly clean. I'm sure this is normal. To, that may be have something to do with that east door that we haven't gone in yet, but I'm happy to do these doors first. Like it's almost like the cleanliness is surrounding that other door. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Let's send the centipede in. <laughs> it, um, but do you want to put, do these north doors for, first? Is that what we're thinking? Yep. I yeah. open up my door. Okay. Several wide alcoves adorn the walls of this L-shaped hallway. Each alcove contains a small diorama of the same city facing different perils. A massive fire, a devastating tsunami, a thunderous earthquake, an attack by an enormous tentacled monster, and an invasion of an army of the undead. Do we recognize the city as Atari? Uh, let me see. Everybody do a perception check. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, you guys don't recognize what city that is. You'd say it doesn't look like Atari because it's it's like a city city, not a not a town. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Like there are right. there are there are tall buildings. Braun takes a step in. Do okay. I uh, see anything else other than uh, the cities and the stuffs? Uh, hold on, just one second. I need to check yep. something. Holding on. Uh. Oh shit! I was muted. I so I I was sort of classically. I mean, I've had a lot of history. I'm trained and I'm plus nine in society. Can I make a check to see if I recognize this as an iconic city of history? Like I would just know this because. No, you, you I, I, I buried that into your per okay. perception check. You did, you did not reckon, you do not recognize this city for some reason. Um, okay, hold on. Early, I had a lot of issues. Give me half a second. I got to check something real quick. There's some weirdness here. Yes. Um <clears throat> Oh yeah, so uh, it can't flank. I finally pieced that together. There's a lot of misinformation about that, but it's it was for what? Yeah. Okay. yeah. The issue is because he can't attack. If he could, make, it's not his side. If he actually could make a strike, he could flank. Right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so, what was your question again? I heard uh, a question. You recognize any of the cities? Uh, uh, you yeah, guys did did no. not. Um. Then you said to hold on. So. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold you on. guys do not recognize the city. Uh, do we recognize any of the disasters that are happening? Like, are there is there anything specific enough to uh, so indicate so that it was a major the, event in history? On the left over here, um, there appears to be a a tsunami, mm -hmm. right? And um, over here. Over here, um, it appears to be a fire. The city, the the city is encompassed in fire. They do appear to be the same city, though. Yeah, bad can, luck. Do the cities look like we can move them? Um, are they like statues of the city, or are they individual pieces of the same city? It it, it looks like. Dioramas of the same city with disasters happening to them. Okay. I was just curious if maybe we could move the city that was on fire to where the tsunami was to put it out. Uh, that would... You, you aren't time. sure. You aren't sure <laughs> if the pieces of the diorama are attached to anything yeah, yeah. or not. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That okay, so scoot. scoot moves forward like that? Correct. We step... I step... Holding Scoot, I step uh, in front of Bron near okay. the diorama to near here to look at it closer. Okay, uh, we need to um, start initiative. Oh, dioramas! I knew I'd have to fight dioramas eventually. Why does it? <laughs> Everyone, initiate combat, please. Oh 
got a freaking... There is no active encounter in your yeah, current gotta... Oh, uh... Waiting on you, buddy. Uh... Get your shit together, Wes. That's weird. What is Scoot doing over there? I had to unmount him to actually get my pop-up. Uh, that's okay now, as yeah. long as he's under me. Um... Okay. This? There. Do that. And can I do here? Okay. Um, What's that thing? Uh, you have been hit, critically hit. The the diorama on your right of the fire. You notice there is a tiny version of the gauntlet in it, and it shoots towards you. You're all, all these are private, you know. Oh, sorry. Uh, you're in trouble. Just so you know, um, I'm I'm on public. I don't know why it's doing private stuff. Oh, because I've got the thing. Um, uh, that to weird. Uh, okay. So uh, I've got some bad news for you. Um, you are um slammed with a searing ray of fire out of the um out of the Gaunt light that is in the the diorama to your right. How convenient! We saw none of those rolls. And um, and then oh, I, I meant to do yeah, that. And hit. Um, it did forty eight damage. And then now it is Kapiri's turn. We actually I'm not entirely clear what I should that's... be doing. Yeah, I... I don't know what to do. I, I... I mean, are we in are we in combat time? I guess. Uh, you are in combat time. I would say time, this is a hazard. Oh. Um, you you are. You are in a hazard, if that makes any sense. Remember when he fought the fountain? Okay, well, uh, I will look for any uh, mechanisms or anything in the area. Um. Um. It, I mean, you're basically fighting a trap. Um, if you want, you can try to disarm it. All right, that's what I will is it, do. Is it still shooting a ray? It shot one ray. And it, and it was not presently shooting a ray, though, right? No, it is not, because you are dead. You are down. I do not do. Why is that an athletics check? I don't know. That's not what I meant to do. That's fine. Oh, did I like to I do. You that, yeah, you meant this. I mean, we'll you're you're, you're not in a place to like touch the thing anyway. All right. Um, I will step over this. And then uh, look for a way on. to turn it off. <laughs> hold on just one second. Let me see how this works. <clears throat> oh, uh, Disarm Pathfinder 2E is 
knocking a weapon out of something's hand. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's disabled device, right? Yeah. Yeah, which you won't have unless you're trained in. Thievery. Yeah. I I have it. Okay, well that's fine. You must be trained in thievery. Okay, as soon as you step there, Kupiri, a um the um the tower fires at you. Bring it. We should all do this and and see what happens. Just make a pile of bodies. <laughs> Maybe we'll turn into green lights. <laughs> Still private. He's I, don't, I, I, I don't know why. Oh, because <laughs> I have the... I'm going to... First off, I'm a little grumpy because it's not... Uh, hold on just a second. I accidentally moved the actor. So I'm going to oh. put it... I'm going to put it over here. It's actually centered on... It's one half of a square north. <laughs> Uh, but for some reason, I I moved the actor. Um, so it uh, it 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 hit you, and uh, it hit you with a ray of fire, and you are down as well. Since we can't see any of these rolls, what was the damage roll? Was it like three d five d six or? 2d10 plus 13. Okay, for my second action. <laughs> okay, so Trick, it is your turn. Get oh, Trick, come over here and stand on us and try to disable that. So I want to do a perception check to see <laughs> if I know... What's triggering it? If it's just proximity, or if there's anything else? Okay, give me a give me a a perception. Your guess would be proximity. Hmm. It, they, they appeared when they stepped within a certain range of the tower. It appears to have fired. <clears throat> what does it look like? It's made out of. Um, you're not really sure. Um, um, you do notice that the dioramas appear to be enhanced with minor illusions. So like the fire in the city appears to be burning. The tsunami appears to like be perpetually, you know, capping. Um, yeah. Mm. You could try stepping next to it. You see, the thing is, Trick isn't stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to draw his bow and just take a shot at the tower. Okay. I I mean, you hit it, but it doesn't appear to have done any damage. Yeah. I shrug. That's my turn. Okay. Bron, what would you like to do? Oh, um, Bron is going to reach out, grab, uh, Zillium and drag them back. Okay. I and don't think then... that even requires an athletic check since that is a tiny person. All right. And then, uh, We're once small, I... thank you very much. Once I pull them back, I'm going to pour one of Jack's potions down their throat. Okay, how far are you pulling them back? 
just to like I, I will take a five foot step back and pull them with me okay so i'm dragging yeah, them right too there. yep and now i will ocean coup de gras yeah yeah take the uh <laughs> a little literally. okay roll a d6 for oh oh sorry. that's first that's fine um roll a d6 first for um Okay, Three. there you go. So I will apply that healing to which per which character? Uh, that was uh, Zimzum. Okay. Um, apply that healing. Okay. And then you have another legitimate Jack potion. Mm, I am going to... Uh... I'm up. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna just make sure that they're okay. Buddy! Amigo! Kupiri? Kupiri is down. Oh, Kupiri's <laughs> down? Yes, I, I both see... of them got down. Oh, Kupiri is not on my, uh... Oh, they're yeah, both on top here. of each other. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Here, I'm gonna move, well, I'm gonna move. I will... There we go, we'll do that. I will give, uh, Kupiri one, two. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and uh, do the potion and then roll the d6. Mm. Nothing happens. I lay hands on Kapiri. It's really a shame you didn't give more money to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's uh, it for bronze. So yep. target. Oh, that's not my. Yeah, it is me. Yay. So I. Uh, now you're prone currently. and That's fine. I just I just roll over and, and reach out. Okay. And in as lazy a manner as possible and lay hands on the frog. Okay. Uh, healing 12. Okay, there you go. Kupiri, you are now up. You have two more actions. Um, Zanzibar. We should investigate that. So it doesn't like Atari. It's got a gauntlet. Like, we've already got one, kind of. Like, this model has a gauntlet, but it does not appear to be Atari. Correct. It's like another gauntlet. It's near, like, Applebee's, you know. Like, by the um, ge geography, like, the co is it on a coast? Does it have... The, you know the the river like could I do well, I think obviously it's, like, it's on a coast because there's a tsunami on the one on the left okay well fine so I mean but does that do I do, I mean use an action to restudy the model does it look like this could be the location ge geographically of Otari like, um, we have the river like where the flume is right we have what the woods I mean I, I, does it look give plausible? me some kind of recall knowledge check okay I'll just do I'll just do a generic and then you can Take it. Okay. No, you've got some. You've got Kapiri targeted. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, pull up. Um. That it is not Atari. It looks like it could be in a no. geographical location similar to Atari, but it is not Atari. Neat. Um, so for my third action, I uh, the one on the left has a tsunami. Yes, and the one on the uh, right, the city is on fire. I throw my ball at the one on the left. Okay. Uh, just try to bounce it off the thing, see if it tri tricks up, trips something. It does not. Okay. Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, okay, two seconds. Get back. Yep. Kupiri, what are you going to do? I don't know, man. Um. I'm not walking in there again. Uh. Wait, well, are you unconscious still? No. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep. That's right. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Danzibar laid hands on yep, Kupiri. Yep. Yeah. Now, you guys are still prone. You guys are laying on the ground. Yeah, I'm going to one. stand up and pick up my weapons, and that's my turn. Okay. 
You are no longer prone. I'm also going to remove your treat wounds immunity. Okay. So, Trick, what would you like to do? Does the diorama on the left also have a gauntlet-looking thing? It appears to have something there, yes. Hmm. Hey, Brian, do you think you could, like, shield up and cover me while I try to disable one of the towers? Yeah, I I can try. Uh, um, do, do you have maybe some water we could throw on the fire one first, maybe? I, I don't know, but I, I can definitely cover for you. I mean, it's not really on fire. It's an illusion. Well, uh, Agreed, but the, <laughs> but the fight the thing that hit Zanzibar and Kupiri definitely did fire it. Okay, uh, it was a flaming beam that burned the shit out of it. Yeah, then I I have a water skin. Um, I'll get like right within the range of uh where it fired and like try to just splash some water on the tower. Um, uh, let me get some kind of recall knowledge check from you. Okay. Sure. Nothing's targeted. You have the trap targeted, but that's okay. Um, uh, you're 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 reasonably convinced that this is a trap of some kind, and you you don't think that just pouring water on it is gonna fix it. This is a this is a trap, and you look over and you're like, I need to get my freaking paws in there to try to. Disable it if I'm gonna disable it. Okay. Right. Can Brond work with uh, a trick to uh, like? Can we combine ours so that I can raise my shield and like does a front for them? Well, I mean, the problem is, is that if you if you're standing in front of Trick, mm -hmm. gotcha. that's not gonna let him get to the get device. To it. Did we learn anything? No. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, uh... I mean... Fuck it, I'm gonna make a beeline. It's like, grab me if I if I die. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna try to... dodge it. I don't know if there's any, like... Just go down the middle? Dodge. Is that the idea? Just keep no. distant from... No, I'm gonna arm. try to uh, disable the device. Okay. Can we do it from the side? Like, at an angle? You do not think so. But keep in mind that where I have this item, it should be two and a half feet north and two and a half feet west also. Yeah. Or east, pardon me. Okay, I don't know what happened to my icon. Uh, uh, you're standing over, so you're going to jump in there. There we go. Yeah, I'll try to dodge or do something if okay. I can. I don't know. There we go. Let's do this thing. That's going to hit. You take 19 points of damage. Okay, I'll take it and then I'll try to poke at it. Okay. So, I need a... Uh, let me see if I can give you a thing here. There you go. Don't say anything. Oh, really? Uh, oh, because I got to do this. Here, we'll do that. Right? You see that? 
Nope. Uh, hold on. All right, did that did that work? No. I'm gonna just gonna drag this over and see if. It works. Nope, that didn't work. So I need a thievery check. Let's just do that. I need a thievery check. Thievery or disabled device? Um, thievery. Uh, okay. Uh, they're the same. Uh, do blind. And I, I, I'm sorry. Actually, if you succeed, um, you do it before it hits you. So I'm gonna. You actually succeeded. So I'm gonna reverse the damage, and you disable the device. Who's that? <laughs> So the device on the right is disabled. What? Who would make that? I mean, why do we care about disabling these? Why don't we just try to? Because I, I walk. You. Well, I, they one shotted you. <laughs> but if I walk over here, for example, and then here, okay, and then here, nothing happens, right? Correct. And then even here, nothing happens. Correct. Well, so he, I here so are safe, so <laughs> so y'all go ahead and come through. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> it's we're still in turn order. I'm gonna so. hug the. I'm gonna hug the. Oh, are we? Yeah, I guess we are. Okay. I, I couldn't be moving. I couldn't be moving. Are we still in encounter mode? Sorry. Uh, well, yeah, You're I'm gonna right. go ahead and end the encounter and just torture you guys as I see fit. We're gonna do it that way. Okay. I mean, I, I just want to sneak. I just want to hug the wall and then kind of stand here on the corner. And okay. still good? Yeah, you're okay. Oh, God. This is a little dodgy. But what my thinking oh, no, is no, I no, want no. to... Keep going. Show us how it's done, sir. Well, I just <laughs> think that I should move diagonally up from here, which I can't really do, but uh, on the map. I want to try to keep myself in the middle between those two remaining fountains. Does that make sense? I want to like go here in a diagonal. Okay. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, you get hit. Okay. Um, uh, I was here. Yeah, no, no, no. Go back to where you were. Right. And I'm going to try to move to here. So I know, but, and when you, yeah. and when you, when you try to do that, um, sure. I'm not going to give you that diagonal movement. I'm going to okay. I'm going to have this one hit you here. But I didn't move into that square. I know, but diagonal movement doesn't instantly teleport you from one square to the other. You got to kind of shimmy through one or the other. Okay. So, I'm going to do this and this So in this corner, there is an undead uprising and it hits you. Still pro I don't know. I know you can't do anything about actually seeing your rolls, but uh, uh, wait, hold on. The the game. Do that. Then um, you take 31 points of damage and you are down. Do I see where the tower tower fire, fired out of that one? Uh, you aren't over there, are you? I'm. But what what yeah, was? Yeah, no, no, no. Bron 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 saw some kind of black beam fire okay. out of the right, and suddenly, Zanzibar is down. Would anyone like to do anything? Um, Bron doesn't really have. Sorry, I was trying to look through my my supplies here. I've got like one legitimate Jack healing potion left. I can <laughs> try to. I'm gonna drag uh, our buddy. Uh, okay. Ziggy Zardust back. One okay, again. move yourself back one, and I'll drag Zanzibar right. back one. There we go. And I will target them. Oh god, and... not even focused on it for the freaking stream. There we go. There we go, and here's my d6. Roll your d6. 
Okay, yeah, nothing happens. Two, so nothing happens. Yep. yep. And uh, uh, drag him back to our healer. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, you've got one more action. You want to pour one more down his throat? I, I'm out. Damn. That was oh, my last right. one. Okay. I don't have any. Oh, can I pat him down and pull up one of their own? I, think, uh, uh, I don't have any healing potions. Oh, I give oh. them away. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Bron will back out of the way so that there's room for our actual healer to get up there okay i'm moving it. her up real quick she oh, moves oh, through I you i did not mean to move yeah, I was yeah just, I okay did not mean to move over. uh and she targets um zanzibar and does a second level heal I think. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I think she only had two in there. Uh, hey, it's the Pfeiffer. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, she's going to treat wounds, I guess. Wow. I don't know like why she got... Thing, oh, critical it... success. Hell oh yeah. There you go, Zanzibar. Uh, well. So I don't think I could athletically leap at a diagonal. I would... I, my body in the air would still move at right angles. You're... I, I, I'm going to tell you a dirty secret right now. <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to have these traps hit you for a full 10 feet in front of them. I, I haven't been choosing to do so <laughs> because uh, freaking 2d10 plus 13 is ridiculous. So I'm giving you the five feet distance, not the 10 feet. So it was a beam. What was it? Was it a beam or was it like little? It was army? a beam. This diorama were... over here appears to be depicting undead <coughs> attacking the same city. Yeah, and the beam that hit that. you was negative energy. You think it would reflect off your shield, Braun? Um, or... I think we should just work on disabling it like we were oh, before. Yeah, okay. That's like, what I've been worked. trying to do. <laughs> like, what, What's the diorama at the very north? Um... That one is uh, a giant monster attacking the city. And the one to the oh, west right. from you is an, an earthquake. Hmm. It's like, I think I could take the giant monster hit more than the zombies. So I'm going to run and dash and try to disable the north one. Okay. Do your, I'm going to give you the, uh, did you get the, I need a, a thievery <laughs> check. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, I didn't see anything pop up. Okay, you succeed in disabling the trap to the north. Woo! Well, that's a boring way to do it. Then I'm gonna squish. <laughs> okay. My way to the door. Yep. Wes, I am fading. Just yes. So you know. Yep, yep, yep. We'll go ahead and uh, we're going to end this at this door. Does that sound like a good idea? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get everybody over in line and not within range of the Doom of Tomorrow to the south. <laughs> and we will call it a night. How exciting. That was fun. Yeah. Okay. Um... I, I, I'm going to tell you, I feel like it's dumb that you guys don't recognize the city. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's Absalom. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, it seems yeah, like that's... we would. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. There are certain features about it that would be depicted in the dioramas that should be obvious to anybody. But like you guys, all, you guys all rolled single digits. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, gotcha. We were just distracted and <laughs> yes. or whatever else. But yeah. now you guys are sitting here. One of you goes, oh, my God, that's Absalom. And specifically, like this particular diorama to your south is, is, <laughs> excuse me, a, appears to be portraying the gaunt light raising the undead from the fields around Absalom. And uh, and it's Seems familiar. It, it is immediately obvious to you because you've seen a painting of almost this exact scene earlier when you were in the hallway of the portraits. Yep. And did, did we know through common knowledge that there is a gaunt light in Absalom or does it seem unusual to us that there's a gaunt light depicted in here? Well, in the keep in mind, Absalom is only like five hours away from Atari. Right. It is nearby. Well, not not five hours of light travel. Well, yeah, okay. I guess well, I see what you're saying. But yes. So so like what it appears <laughs> is that these are depictions of the gaunt light being used to destroy Absalom. Has that happened that we know of? No. Okay. Um. If you remember from your, do we see a, like a bald guy stroking a cat somewhere <laughs> near here? Well, if you remember, like the whole point of the of the Rose Guard going to stop Belcora was because Belcora wanted to destroy Absalom. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't take too much to figure out these are fantasies of of Belcora destroying Absalom using the gaunt light in a variety of fashion. So this is her vision board. Yes. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. <laughs> but we will call it a night. Uh, again, everybody, thank you for joining. I, I feel like this was good, but we're, we're in dungeon land, which means you guys can wander around and the story doesn't flow as well. So I hope that the individual encounters are entertaining. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's yeah. but it's a different beastie. Um, you guys actually covered a lot of ground tonight. Um, I'm very impressed with you. Know. There were there were a lot of encounters that got handled this evening. Um, so bravo, and we're probably a no go for next week. Correct. Correct. Um, All right. But maybe the week after that, we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, wide open January. I will just talk, but yeah, I'm open to start yeah. the first, fourth. Yeah, yeah. That, would, that would be the first week of January, and I think we got that covered. Uh, so, everybody have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. People who are watching, thank you for watching the adventure, and I'll have this posted on YouTube, hopefully by Saturday. Y'all have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good Happy night. holidays. Good night.